I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, I went back like a minute or two ago, but then I was I came back in here. So, oh, I'm out of water. So I had to go back out. Oh. I don't know where laser's at. I killed him. Where do you think I was this no. whole time? No. Yeah. Never coming back. I can't believe you. Good. Feel rejuvenated, stretched. Yeah. You know, I try to get up every two to three hours anyways, because I don't want to just be sitting in the same spot all day when I'm streaming. So uh, sitting in the, on this really uncomfortable futon was going to help with that, I guess. Yeah. It's like, like my futon was horrible, too, when I finally had got rid of it. Like, they just, like, gradually, like, collapse. Yeah. The spot that I'm sitting on is technically like that, but uh, I put a pillow down, so it's kind of cushioned. But then, you know, mm. there's this fucking metal bar here that's super uncomfortable because yeah. it has no cushioning, period. Yeah. Yeah, food zones are like the worst. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, hence why I sleep on the floor. I mm. say as though I would sleep anywhere else even if I had a mattress. Because I wouldn't. I mean, a futon is a mattress. It is not. It folds out. This couch. is a folding couch. It's not mm. a mattress. I had, one, I had one for the longest time. And then, like I said, it finally collapsed and I hated it. It was like the worst thing ever. Welcome back, Laser. Nice. Hey, you're back. Or, you wanna hear me out? A hammock. A hammock. Or I could just sleep people, on the floor. People say that hammocks are actually really good for your back. You know what else is really good for my back? On the floor. Sleeping on the floor. <laughs> uh, progress. Challenges. Emulators of choke bombs, water devils, dumb dumb ammo, and I still gotta use the Lamat. Yeah, I switched to. Um, I actually brought it with me this time. I have dumb dumb ammo now on my Springfield. Oh, Lamat actually doesn't have any dumb dumb ammo. Hmm. I'll hmm. swap it on my Winfield then. Uh, luckily, once this patch hits, the solo Necro D ranking will be heavily nerfed. Necro being a single charge burn trait will be glorious. Yeah, it's really annoying dealing with solos with Necro. I feel like it's not too much of a problem for uh, parties, like using it in party play. But it's really fucking annoying because when me and Fox were playing, it's like, okay, <laughs> we're, in, level one? we're in this duo. Yep. We found a random ass solo person. It's one guy. All right, let's set him on fire. Now I have to sit here and watch him for 10 minutes or some shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. You have to spend like half the game sitting there watching this dude try to get up. Oh, no, that, that is super obnoxious. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, at the moment, we don't have that problem because we're so bad at the moment, but. Yeah. I mean, me when and we Fox were, were seeing it constantly, so. Yeah, uh, you see it more often than probably in duos, too. Well, that's not true, honestly. Like, every single uh, duo match that we did. This was between our the previous stream of this, when we were playing before and right now, because me and Fox have played a couple games, just the two of us since. Every single game, there were like three solos we had to babysit the corpse of. It's fun. Yeah, it's just kind of annoying. Gonna burn them, trap them. Can't wait for the new map when there's gonna be like nobody knows anything that happens in the map or where to be or what goes mm -hmm. where. It's gonna be great. Landslide! No, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's just gonna be a random landslide yeah, event. Amazing. Hey! Right. That was you oh. saying. Food time! Okay. <laughs> They're like, really? Play time! No, I'm okay. <laughs> They we're just running around the dining room table, just in laps. <laughs> the dog Tona 500. <laughs> Pretty much. They're making a left turn. <laughs> oh my God! They're making a left turn. Oh, I forgot. I got. I didn't switch this dude's pistol out, so I don't have Volamad anymore. I can't believe you pussied oh, out you, and swapped over a little character. Uppercut. Oh, 
no. The conversion. Just. Wait, really? I don't think this isn't the upper cut, is it? I think it's just the conversion, right? The I don't know. That chamber looks mighty uh, big. Oh yeah, it is the upper cut. <laughs> Let's be ready, boys. Oh, by the way, troll, I've been lurking that Monster Hunter channel ever since I got banned for the week. I saw that evil you spoke into it. About the demo. Are you getting banned? Uh, uh, to put it... I actually need to kill that with the choke bomb, hang on. Whoa! No! Oh. Uh oh. I didn't mean to throw a second one. Oops. I believe in you guys. In this place, we need to get out of here. So, I am so used to having dusters. You stabbed that them. I just, no, that I just hit the button to pull them out, and then I just slice them instead. Uh oh. Bloodline XP. Yeah, um... Right. I've look... only played this game for like 800 hours. You know. Fine. Yeah, you know, it's not much playtime. You know, something, something, 10,000 hours to be good at something or some shit. Oh, yeah. I might be down a health bar. Nice. Well, I know you're down a health bar. That's why I think if that would be so funny at the other, like, the boss, like, one, just, like, took <laughs> all the health bars. <laughs> Poof. Oh, man. <laughs> Instant burned out. So, wow, that sucks. He's so obnoxious. Yeah, the whole, uh, me getting... It's technically I'm <laughs> muted in that Discord for a week, but, uh... It was basically... What's that? What's that? You heard that, right? Yeah, there's someone here. Oh, yeah, you're right. They're, like, at the clue right now. They're up at the clue. Oh. That was an armored, apparently. Really? Amazing. It looked it looked like someone was peeking through the uh So what was the noise? Like was it the spawning of the armor we probably heard maybe? I don't know. Sitting here stressing us out with false flags with the hell man. Can't wait to get domed. Okay, but you gotta you gotta look at it from this way. It looked like somebody was doing this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's kinda funny. Stuff. Oh, we know it's not here. Latch Graves. Oh. Just casually using an uppercut. You know me. Yeah, so it yeah, came down to me, like, disagreeing with the streamer whose uh, server it was, right? Because he was like, oh, I did this challenge run. It's like, that's not a challenge run. Which he got kind of upset by me saying. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, classic devolving, I'm sitting here, like, trying to be reasonable, you know, typical internet argument where it's like, oh, well, personal text and stuff now, and I'm like, you know what, <laughs> I'm just gonna do something that's either probably gonna get me banned right now, and it's like, yeah, you know, you've been a veteran of these games of 15 years, but the difference is back then you were fine with admitting you sucked ass, and I immediately got a weak, uh, timeout. You actually, like... I never hear anything good about that stream, Discord. Like, it's not even funny. It's... Dogs hit lock me. A lot of the, uh... More, like, reasonable people have kind of left. <laughs> like, was there the all the people originally there because of the people? A lot of or people of the left. Not because of him, no. Um, Because of other people in the community and not just a streamer. Kind of is an understatement, LMAO. Uh, oh, somebody got shot at. Over in yeah, the water. he's tried shooting at me. They're, yeah, they're to the southeast. Yeah, southeast. But also, there's a team running across the water. Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, and somebody's shooting from the tower at, the, at them, too. Somebody's in here shooting at them. So we can worry about the north people, the south people. Uh, yeah. The, the people in the water are getting shot at from the tower. Which part was the kind of... That's an understatement, Cole? By that tree. The tree with the Y. Yeah. I actually see him. He went to the one to the left. Oh, him being mad, yeah. Gosh darn it. 
I got shot from the boss compound. <laughs> Mosin sniper with Spitzer ammo. So yeah, he's in he's in the tower. We are in trouble. Oh hey, there's a Casper right here. Ugh. I'm in yeah. trouble. Whoops. We need, we need to move. We need to like. I don't know how we're gonna rotate out of this. Uh, we're probably not. How is it? The deal becomes three star and we're just Moe's and Spitzer. Why would you? <laughs> Why right, not? Well, as far as I could tell, there was one dude to the yeah, south. Yeah, it looks like there was one oh, there's southeast. Two. There's two. Are there two? Hmm. What, my tunes. Got him. I got one. I'm getting out of here. I got the dude right here. Yeah, there's still one over there. There's two of them over there. I just got shot. Oh, they're out. right in front of us. Jeez. They're going to die to that dynamite, I think. Somebody, one of us got shot in the back. I killed one. And yeah, I really hurt myself, died. but... Oh, Zeal's still alive. <clears throat> what? You're getting shot in the back. Like oh, yeah, I just got idea. shot by a fucking crossbow. That's, yeah, that's the person. I think that's who killed the laser. <laughs> no, <laughs> fucking throwing <laughs> axe. We got so screwed. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah, because laser. I heard laser get shot in the back. I was like, yeah, one of I got also shot got in the shot back. in the back. I mentioned getting shot in the back. Dude, the guy with the most in sniper has a baseball bat. Hmm. God, if I would have thrown that axe a moment sooner, I would have killed that guy. There's so many people at this compound right now. Yeah. It's insane. I mean, it was a single boss. It's just. Well, I mean, that's like the full lobby that, you, that we missed last time. Yeah, it, yeah. It was all here. Well, I think the problem is when we're not a three star, we tend to not see people because we're just that bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was on that was an unfortunate run. It, that's why I changed my character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's because you're a pussy, that's why you changed your character. So let's just all go and then die. So the Mosin dude was a four star. So not long you stayed after you got muted, but he kept uh harping on the not a challenge run equals not challenging thing. As if saying that was the same thing. Uh wait. As if saying that was the same thing as saying it was easy. No, I mean, I even mentioned several times, it's like, yeah, you played on a higher difficulty, that's going to be harder, but it's not a challenge run. It's especially not a challenge run considering he only did one boss that he was considering his challenge run. I saw the part where he was like, oh yeah, all the rest of this was just me playing on the highest difficulty, but this last final thing, that was the challenge run. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> Stalker. Man, regen shots are so expensive. You never accept that they're not the same. Yeah, we kept trying I'm to sure make I... him understand the difference. He doesn't want to understand the difference because he's trying to use the boost his ego. Which is why he got I really like upset about me saying it wasn't though. a challenge run. I just got destroyed. I, didn't... <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think I hit anyone. I blew somebody up with TNT. Feels good. I almost, I also blew myself up with TNT, but I was far enough away. Oh, uh -huh. like he definitely came up with the whole like, oh, I have been on this fight for eighty hours. I'm gonna start saying it's a challenge run thing so that it doesn't damage my ego. I I gotta get gamer credit somehow from doing this, and I was like, no, that's not a challenge run. <laughs> Super neutral oh. about it. It's just no like, fighting. like incredibly neutral about the whole thing. It's like, yeah, man, you know, I wouldn't really consider this a challenge run. I unlocks. Playing on a harder difficulty is challenging. But what you're saying right now is saying like, if you played Devil May Cry and anything but human difficulty, you're doing a challenge run of Devil May Cry because you're on Dante Must Die. You're just playing a higher difficulty. That's not something special. This is not a challenge run. He's got to die. But you know. 
you can't have like a neutral opinion with him, especially because he's not the kind of person who like is looking to talk mm. about anything. Anytime somebody disagrees with him on anything, it's now an argument that he has to believe that he wins in the end. Or, you know, you just say something to get him to time you out, so, uh, you know, he can't win because, you know, guns, he yeah. doesn't win, period. You know, you time somebody out, it's like, okay, well, now you're just petty. You had to bring the subject up, man. It's Ooh, funny, what? you know, at least it's, uh... Oh my god, you're you're a loadout. <clears throat> Jeez. Mine? Yeah. Shotgun is Fark's pistol, what's wrong with it? <laughs> it's a Romero, specifically. Yeah, I can change it. Yeah, I brought it up just because it was, you know, it's funny. It's time to be funny, yeah. You could have got the Yeah, no, now you got a chronic king. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a completely different spectrum. This is better. I actually had the challenge to do that for the deal damage with the Romero, so it was funny. I actually didn't do that thing where I just like make a loadout with my tools and shirt I selected. Yeah, That's you should do that. It makes it a lot faster. Yeah. It's just when I prestige it half the time. It's like, oh, yeah, I won't have a throwing axe when I prestige, so it'll tell me to go fuck myself, but you know, for now. Yeah. When do you get the toolbox? I still haven't unlocked it. And wherever it says it. Uh, 55. Really? It's like one of the last things you unlock randomly. That really sucks. I much preferred it when I could just take I'm an ammo box for like four rounds and unlock it that way. I think this is like. I like Sophia. It's the only. Legendary skin, I feel like I have that actually is like decent. Like, I do like that dude with the sunglasses that I have. Uh, what character am I? Dude with sunglasses. See. Yeah, he's um, Hawkshaw Jack. Oh, I hate that guy. Really? I think. Yeah, like the bowler hat cap dude. Yeah. Yeah, I hate that dude. Why? I hate both of them. They're just, they bother me. I don't know why. Like the private eye and Hawkshaw Jack, yeah. Private eye, I'm not really a fan of, but. I mean, they're exactly the same. It's just one's a female. Hawkshaw Jack was in the opening screen of the game. By the way, how y'all like the spear tool? I haven't used it, but Morning seems to like it a lot. Same with Foxy. Although he's not here right now. Spear is good. What about you, Laser? I haven't really used it. I think I'm still just stuck on using throwing axes. Spear's better. Mm. But you only get one. I like the throwing axes, they look cooler. Especially with the That's skin. That's an expensive trait, though. No. We just gotta Maybe. be better at the game. Yeah, just don't die like we just did. Don't just get randomly wiped forehead. I mean, maybe I'll like swap it out like later. The spear also like points one hits like it. everything. Conversely, a challenge run can be very easy too. Yeah, they can be. A challenge run is literally just a run with very specific stipulations and more likely restrictions. Like a challenge run isn't necessarily a challenge. You can like chuck the bombs at their heads or the like chuck the spears at like the upper torso of a emulator and I'll like kill it too. I know you love doing that. <laughs> this is probably a crime, but man, those cookies fucking slept and made some unsweetened oat crisps with dried cranberries, minced hazelnut, and some white chocolate bits. The crime part is that I dipped them in chili and soy sauce? Okay, well, now you lost me. <laughs> Had me in the first half, not gonna lie, troll. I demand that you retract my brain damage comment that you made about me earlier after reading that. <laughs> okay. No, 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 you no. See, troll has an excuse. Okay? He's European. Okay? He's European. We're European. What the fr we're <laughs> No, we're American. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah, know. Friend. 
Just because they don't live there. We were born and raised in the USA. I don't even remember what it was that I said you had brain damage over. So I'm also not retracting it for that reason. I know it was some food, but I don't remember what it was. Spam? Spam and fried rice. Fried rice. I don't think I said it over that. I do remember it being around that conversation, but I'm pretty sure it was something else. You know, that's just weird, like, Korean rice. No, because you said that I would like that because I like weird food because I have some sort of weird brain damage. <laughs> okay, no, that one tracks a bit better. Yeah. That's probably right. Yeah. Not not spam fried rice equals brain damage. Just, you know, just you <laughs> like weird food because you, would you would like have that. brain damage. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I That's get you now. Fun. Yeah, yeah. At least I've had rice, okay? Jeez. We haven't spawned in this Listen, spot. I have also technically had rice. I just don't count it because it was a it was a rice crispy. Yeah, yeah, I don't, as I don't you should. That doesn't count. <laughs> like they're not it's not rice, I don't think. Like, they're like made rice? of rice. Yeah, yeah I love Rice Krispies. <laughs> yeah, I love Asian food. I had this Rice Krispie the other day. <laughs> it's a good cereal. <laughs> yeah, Rice Krispies are made with rice, so. Is it? Yeah. Alright, let's run into a team right now. Well, to the left. Also, the assassin is here. Oh, oh. wonderful. There's a team! Somebody has a fucking yeah. sight sniper from the solo. I see him. He's down there by that rock. I have to make sure his teammates didn't like. Dude just walks around the corner. He's like, what? <laughs> Where'd you see him last? He's over there somewhere, like over yonder. Yeah, he's in those stables now. Oh, he's actually gonna fight us? Jeez. I don't like that. Oh, he's got a bow. I hit him with the frag. He's not dead though. I think he's uh, pushing me. Oh yeah, hear him. He's pushing you? You know, you hear me. Oh, no, nope, that's definitely him. Tagged him. Behind this rock now. Yeah. I don't know why he's fighting this like this, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> Maybe you thought we'd just chase him. Oh, we're up on the rock he, somewhere? He's still down there. Oh, is he? Yep. I have no clue where he is, though. Like here. Yep. Right down there. He's like the wolf. Thing, like the lone wolf. Person. We're gonna end up getting ambushed because we're trying to kill this a single guy. I am running around. He's coming like up towards me, I believe. <laughs> He's just gonna leave. He's like, yep, nope. Yeah, he's up there now. Yeah. <gasps> He's oh, up yeah. there behind the rock. Tagged him. I love these call outs. Like here. I mean, if I stay popping up, I'm gonna like die because I don't have any more head. head uh, med so, yeah, he's up there. Got him. He's dead. Run towards him. <laughs> Camp his body. Where'd he die? Where'd he die? He's right here. Looting him. Maybe you're ready to shoot him. I'm gonna let out my warrior. Wait, 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 what? I would also like to loot him. <laughs> no, we gotta hurry up. Oh, he's actually, what does he got, a Mosin? Is that what that yeah. is? Oh, Am I so hearing more people? Hang on. Zero. Oh my god, there's people here. Okay, everything's unloaded. Okay, there's now you can let him on fire. Yeah, there's people here, by the way. We should... No one, no one got traps? Just stay, just stay here. We should just stay here for a second. 
Because we like there's people at the boss combo. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, there's people here. I was hearing 100%. them when you guys were talking. Hi, cube. But yeah, you hear the horse now. No. Why is there why is there tin cans right here? You guys have a party name yet? Are your adventuring party needs a name? Uh, no. Maybe it's past the combo. Maybe they're not here, but they're like coming towards us. Oh, so Cube, I tried out Dungeon fighting. Bar. Yeah, they're fighting. Yeah, they're fighting the boss right now. Yeah, Cube, uh, I tried out Dungeon Bar and I did not like it. It might be a lot I of this game, it. except like awful. I'm watching the body. What's funny is I watched quite a bit of Dungeon Bar. And it, it, like as long if it wasn't for the rogue thing, like I feel like it'd be decent. Yeah, the rogue makes it seem like it's completely like unfun to play unless you're that class. Well, no, that, like it's not even that busted. That's just busted because you can go invisible. Then there's also like on hit, like where you gain life, mm. and that's even worse. So it's like super just unbalanced. But if it wasn't for that, I think it could be decent. Yeah, it really does just remind me of this, but, like, it's significantly less fun. <laughs> if you get killed... Man. I'm down what a whole this? large health chunk, by the way, so... How'd you do that? I was fighting him the entire time. Oh, yeah, you had fire ammo, right? No, I mean, I just don't have any more medkits. Oh, but you're, but you're not missing out, Junk, right? Yeah, I'm good. You shouldn't have ran away from this guy. But I'll He's watch burned him out. Guys. I already watched him burn out. I oh, checked him. Out? Yeah, I checked him. I don't know why this guy oh, yeah. threw bugs, but he did. You yeah, actually can well, use I mean, a medkit on me. Red. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Actually, wait. That That's works. Better. That'll last longer. <clears throat> There's at least two of them, right? There's at least one. I heard. Another oh, there's a med kit right here. Okay, then yes, sir, is true. That's a different shot. <laughs> Fuck. Where did that zombie even come from? That's somebody outside shooting. Let's I feel like there's somebody with an explosive crossbow. Somebody's over here, by the way. Austin. Awesome. Somebody died. Somebody died and then they banished it. So whoever died did not get their health jump. Mm, is it just two teams in the building? Oh shit, there's somebody behind me. So they climbed, they must have came up through here. Oh, you have a shotgun, don't you? Right. Somebody just died over here. Who's running around? A whole bunch of people. Yeah, there's several there's, people. Sounds in, like there's a guy. There's like, several people right in here. There's one like below me, I believe. You better just just watch that door. Right now. <laughs> Throwing like choke bombs everywhere. I feel like somebody has the small crossbow with choke bombs. Can you stop coughing, please? Right, my bad, dude.
I'm very surprised somebody had a free shot on me from behind and they didn't shoot me in the head. I threw a concertina bomb on top of it. That's oh, why they so. threw a bunch of choke bombs there. There's a corpse there that was bleeding. How do they have so many? Well, it's choke bolts. And, and there's like a lot. Yeah, there's choke, choke bolts. Like, I think you get like 14, like, if you have double choke bolts. Jeez. I Either think he's like below me down there. Well, there's two of them. Yeah, I think, well, James. I'm pretty sure he's like down there and like to the right and like below this room. Yeah, oh, like, there's like a little in the, in the dungeon room. place, like the mine. No, yeah. it's just like a door down there. I'm pretty sure that you can get to. Hmm. The elevator comes up to it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, man, I, I got smokers lung. I just like can't stop. It's not my fault. Well, but I'm curious if that's the team or the person that was shooting over this way. I think they missed the came in through the the mine over here. That was an that sounds like an actual joke bomb, but I I think it's joke bombs. I thought you hear the glass shatter. When it's a Kind of like a poison, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, no, no. Anybody got serpent? No, I do. Dang. Try getting it. It's coming up the stairs. I think they also have serpent. Mine. Nice. They're over that way. How many two? Uh, let me take another look real quick. It's just one. Oh. Hmm. And he looks like he might be trying to run away. Oh, there's a team right here. Dead or? I hit him. Oh, that was the bounty. Yeah, there's several dead people down here. Yeah, the bounty ran. I hit him. Did you get him? Oh, that was a fucking bear trap. Yeah, he was getting chased by like four zombies. It was so stupid. I actually hit him too. And he was like running. There's somebody over there still. Where? Where that bounty was. Oh yeah, the bounty. Like, under that bridge, like he's alive. What? Another like, there's guy? somebody here, yeah. He's on the other side. Like over there. Well, that's oh, they just shot at me. Yeah. Got a bow. Got a bow. Okay. He's literally just standing there. He's on the other side of the rock. Yep. Hang in. So the one that wasn't him though. There's nobody else here. Interesting. Oh, it is the guy with the bow. Where did that guy even come from? I have no idea. He might have just been waiting here. Well, now the bounty got away, which sucks, but. Yeah, he must have been just trying to head somebody off. Uh, maybe he was the teammate. Could have been. Like he like decided to die for his teammate to get away? Real team player. Cause I tagged the guy that's running away. He's like some black skin. But whoa! What? Did okay. you just die? Oh, it was a solo. I got killed from 60 meters with a spark sniper. So it wasn't that guy. Mm. It wasn't the guy you killed, though, right? No. Well, now I'm curious. I got killed from 60 meters away. You don't see anybody at dark site? I have a second left. I don't want to use it until we're closer. How? That makes no sense. I don't understand. I got shot from the boss lair. Really? Oh, the boss lair? Yeah. I guess one of those guys That's... is just a solo. 
Oh, right here. There he is. Oh, yeah, he's up on the building. I see. Yeah, it's a different person, too. So it, it must be the teammate. You better heal up, because... I don't have any more health packs. If he tags packs. you, you're gonna die. I don't have any more. No, I'm talking about morning. Dynamite. Wow, right th through the wall. That's so dumb. He was right out the front door. Yeah, I got Spike Spark Snipered through the wall. No, he's I'll do it there. The oh. oh, man. I'm trying to get the skill points. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I had no faith in myself killing him with a gun, so. Legitly? Got shot through the wall. I did see him on your screen, though. Like yeah, it was through you. the wall, though. No, I yeah. know he's seen me. That sucks. <laughs> you're like, for 100% spaghetti knew game. he's seen me. Well, if you're here for spaghetti game, this is definitely the place for that. We got all the, we got all the sick choke spaghetti. That's dumb. Listen, we had too many good games. Now we're going to get dumpstered for the rest of the night. I feel like... And then what's dumb is I probably would have killed the person to begin with, but I got aim punched straight away. Mm. Like when he was on the rock. Yeah. We got killed by a two star. Ah, oh, sick, dude. Is that a solo cringe lord that killed y'all? Uh, let's see. Not really. <laughs> I mean, Supposedly he was a solo. He's like Hunter a brand new player, too. Hunter downed your teammate. You're killed by this hunter. Hunter picked a bounty. Yeah, it seems like it. Nine total kills. In the whole game. Maybe it's a new smurf account. People do do that shit. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a smurf. Obviously, we're not bad. He was just smurfing. Okay. Well, I mean... Obviously. How how quickly he killed all of you guys by himself. Mm. A new guy doesn't just run in and just ace all his shots like that. I mean, he aced me. He didn't ace you. <laughs> he missed quite a few with me, but uh, I, I mean, didn't exactly do well in return. I reciprocated him missing everything by also missing everything I had. You didn't even attempt to shoot him. He was like, throwing axe. The throwing axes feel so good, though. I mean, they oh. do kill, but... Yeah. I hope you guys are ready for this painfulness that's about to happen. Being? Scott Fields. Such a weird... Where did, where did even that skin come from? That's good. Yeah. Um, Sc Scottfield. Yeah, Scottfield Precision. Mm. I think it was from the whatever the rain event was. Oh, uh, I see. Well, it was it was good while I lasted, you know. Yeah, it was going well for a little while. Dark Sniper is oh, also a very common solo stomp weapon. They like to use in low-level lobbies. I mean. It does shit on the damage, so I'm not surprised. I was gonna say the guy was being abuser. No, okay, I'm joking. <laughs> I can't believe this guy was not playing it. from China. We like couldn't even see him. He was teleporting. Guy had 400 ping. We couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> You gotta use the legendary hunters. Come on. Rude. Do I not have ambidextrous yet? Oh man. I have ambidextrous though. <laughs> so you're telling me you want me to also do a wheel of Scottfields? Uh, uh don't, don't ready up yet. I forgot that it works. 
do what I want when I want. I am not ready. I got you. You are or you aren't? I am. Yeah. I aren't. I'm not ready. <laughs> Quick on ready. I isn't. Yeah, I isn't. I am in the state of not. State of not. What am I looking at? Why am I seeing some random furry on my Facebook feed? <laughs> no, that's just Nate. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> God, no, he, it's like he updated his profile picture, and I saw him. I was like, "Holy fuck!" He looks like he aged like ten years in <laughs> like a couple months. It's the beard. I'm Amish dude. Yeah, he kind of looks Amish now. He doesn't have like the massive beard, but he looks like he's got like the baby Amish beard. <laughs> he's the he's he's the star of the Amish. <laughs> Still a little scraggly. <laughs> You don't know if he wants to commit yet or not. <laughs> yeah, he's getting ready for his, like, week or month or whatever of, like, completely unhinged binge drinking and drugs or whatever the fuck it is they do before committing to the Amish life or not. Rum Springer? Is that an actual thing? Yes, yeah. it is. Like, get, like, a month or some shit. It's like a week or a like month or something. Is that, like, somebody that's not Amish that commits to no. being Amish, or is that just a Like, thing? you grew up in an Amish family. And like when you turn like 18 or some shit, you get like a week or a month or something to go out to like actual civilization and partake. Mm. And then you after that time, the world. and then after that time, you go back and you decide whether or not you want to actually like stick with the Amish lifestyle or go do it better with blackjack and hookers and blow. Oh, I'd say screw that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got it's a simple life, but you know, it's an honest life. Like, if people want to live like that, I don't really blame them. I do. <laughs> <laughs> of course Holding you the rest do. Of us back. <laughs> Spoken like a real American. Fuck that yeah. guy. <laughs> There's people on the opposite side of this compound this morning. Oh, sick. Maybe they won't come here. Does what? Did you see somebody? I heard, them shout, shoot when they, I heard them shoot when they spawned. Not that person. I hope they come here. They might have went that way. Maybe it is them. I don't know. Don't worry. I have a bomb land. That sounds real. That's either because them people are king, king snake. Well. Oh, they know now. Now you fucked us. I kind of hate this place because we got screwed over once. Be right here. If I spawn. Remember that, Theo? Which one is this? Right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I we've just, been fucked over in a lot of places. I just remember that time I domed that dude off the wall from, like, the other compound. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you're actually decent at the game. We just hold you back. What, me? Yeah. I play with a controller, dude. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. See, you're about that whole though. brain damage thing from earlier. Not joking. You Obviously, know, you can play whatever. I was whatever gonna you be want. nice to you, <laughs> but now I just don't know. I don't actually give a shit what people play with. It's just always funny to like. Oh, I'm playing on PC with a controller, and you have those people who are like, "Why the fuck would you ever?" Like being complete assholes about it for no reason. I'm trying to see if I see our hero people. controller. <laughs> yeah, you maybe know boss, this. Maybe the boss is at King Snake again. Yeah, you guys don't realize this, but I'm actually playing this right now with my Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Exactly. Did you see the video of the guy that was playing Super Mario 64 in the box that rotated? Yeah. That was amazing. I saw like a short clip of it of it. He like tries to go for a double or a triple jump. And it just like flips him on his head and he busts his ass. Yeah, it's great. Mm-hmm. Also, I need to kill two water devils. Huh? Get you shouldn't shoot them, because, like, legitly, we heard shooting here, and, it, and never any shooting again after that. So I'm curious if the boss is there. It wasn't me, Oh, the boss is here. Is that white or red? Uh, I'm not close enough to tell. I just heard it. So, screaming. water devils, what's your status? Oh, is you shooting it? Yeah. It's definitely red. One more. It's 100% red. Is it? Well, I'm not near close enough either, but it's we were shooting. 
Like, where do the people go that were over here? Maybe they didn't want to fight the boy. We heard them shoot. I don't understand. Are you getting the clue first or should I go in? Where is the clue? What is your status on the water devils? You should just go in there. The clue's on the I need one right? more. Wow, so that one just decided to despawn. Then actually, okay. Can you melee water devil? I do not know. I think it just despawned. You're gonna have to come kill these water devils yourself. I'm not gonna waste all my ammo. Okay, can I start killing the boss? Yeah, I said to go in it. Oh. Okay. I don't want to circle around because, like, where the clue is. Like, there has to be people somewhere. Yeah, I hear people shooting to uh, the west. Unless that's him. It was westward of where I was, I believe. I was sticky bomb, actually. I'm gonna do I have that. a bomb oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you guys are way better equipped for this than me and my Scott Fields. One of the close range shotgun blasts usually kills water devils. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that. So. Easy. If I had something better to shoot him with, I would have. Maybe it was a solo. Maybe. Oh, well, there's an emulator on you. Yeah, you aggro. On me? No, laser. Bomb lads. Ow. the store not get blasted off? Oh yeah, you're already on the bear traps. Always. Oh yeah, right, so Lamette's you know, got like... the fucking separate ammo. I forgot you could do this. <laughs> Oops. Uh... Yeah, Troll's like, oh yeah, one shotgun blast typically kills a war devil, and I was like, I don't have a shotgun. I forgot that you have a single shell that you can fire from the Lamette. Oh, Anybody Lamette, have... yeah. Uh, traps. Of course I do. You want to hit that door? No. I could. I guess I'll oh, do it just for shooting. you. Yeah, yeah they're coming from the south. Oh man, what kind of traps do you have? Look at how many dogs I are have right there. Yeah, barbed wire. Oh, Look out man, this window. Man. Look out this window. Where I ping. Oh, yeah, no, that's a death trap. <laughs> How many are there? Like, like seven. Yeah, like, it looks like two packs spawned, like, basically on top of each other. It's amazing. Oh, that's you, guy. Did one of you just get hit? No, I'm shooting at these teams that are fighting. Uh, uh let me have a quick peek through this window. <laughs> well, I'm using a lapel, so. Yeah, let me just take a quick whoop bam Dead. Uh, I don't actually get see any. Was, him with that. I was gonna like shoot up into the air and see if I could fall down and get him, but. Actually, also, no, laser no, with no, my no, luck, no. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, the other team's over on the mountain range. Mountain range, yeah. They're in the compound in the air. That person's gonna run into these dogs, by the way. Up. Like that guy's gonna run into the dogs. I know. It's gonna be great. Cause he has no idea that there's some dogs right there. Yeah, the other people are in um Moses. I don't know where that guy went. He probably took the longest way around he could to avoid this super pack of dogs. I think he knew he was there because he's backing up into him. And then he kind of just stopped. So both of the large rolling doors are trapped with barbed wire. 
Uh, oh, I see more people. All oh, right, there's like this mine shaft down here. I forgot about this. Yeah, there's so many ways into this place. Whole team coming our way. Okay. Can I egg them? They're towards like 195, 190-ish. Yeah, there's a Lulu, a default, and something else. They're normal ammo around. Yeah. It's right here. What's the game plan? I don't know. You can't really go anywhere with all these people around, so it's uh. Like out. we can't go south. We know east is where that team circled off to, so. <laughs> That armor which was very loud. I'm glad it's dead. Unfortunately, we still got the emulator out there. I think there's a fire right there. Yeah. So yeah, tap to the choke. To the west. Oh uh, yeah. That's probably the people that I shot at. Somebody's like to the south, like 180-ish, unless it's a zombie walking on that stuff. Sound like a crouch walk. That was me. That clo I closed the I closed the thing so they couldn't throw dynamite into it. There's somebody out here, like right here. I see it. Get it? Yeah. There's a fire beetle too. There's something really close. Hmm. You think they're close? I think they're to talk. Mm. Are they all going up that tunnel? They're all, over They're all up the... there by a laser. Second floor. They're all going in that tunnel. That's crazy. No, they're no, they're, they're up this side the of the west. Oh, I thought you know the metal thing you can move, run move, up. Move, move, move. But yeah, I, I hit somebody. I, I trapped it, so. Who shot me in the back? I just shot you. I'm, I'm sorry. Remember, you can see out the window up there, too. Somewhere. Yeah, there was two right windows here. you can see out of. Oh. I, I got some dynamite I can throw. He's right here. Yeah, I got some dynamite I can throw. No, I mean, he's like right here. I, I know. Okay. I tagged him, by the way. Woo. He was necroing him. I just shot that guy who was on top of you. I'm gonna shot you yeah, too. Yeah, Lulu got necroed. It was great. Oh wait, there's uh one over in the tunnel. Nice. Uh, there's one more east, like at the other end of the uh thing. Yeah. Oh, she had a katana, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I was seeing poking through the wall. Also, one of these... So the person here died twice, obviously. This one did, yeah. Well, two of them died twice. Like, this one got up from Necro, and I blasted her. There's a red barrel there. Watch out. Yeah. Oh, there's two dead here. Yeah. So there's, there's somebody down here. Somebody, here. somebody down here on this side. Yeah. Like alive. Yeah, I think that's the solo. Like I, that I had seen earlier. This 
inside is pissing me off. Oh, he's outside of the compound. I thought he was in for a bit. Oh, they had, they had Mosins and Labels and everything, man. Yeah, they were ready. I was right they pushed us. They must have just got... Oh, there's in my barbed wire. So, far side rolling door is where that was. Yeah. Didn't you have two? Yeah, but he's not at that one. He's like right here inside. Oh, they made it so you can't see through this as easy? Watch out. But uh, he's down there by the uh, steam machines. The steam machine? I'm that? pretty sure they're like steam engines, aren't they? Ah! Behind me! Where behind you? Guys, that was like. Under, under the stairwell. Dynamite, watch out. You're going the wrong way. He's like down there. He fell. He fell down Amazing. the elevator shaft. Amazing. I mean, he's just gonna get back up. That's uh, okay. I'm watching him. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull his corpse up. What? Well, now oh. I can't watch him because he's on top of the elevator. Oh, I see. Anybody else around? Because that uh, is not the solo I see. <gasps> Let me look. I don't see anyone. Are you watching him so I can heal? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'd hope that you wouldn't die like that. That'd be very unfortunate. Okay. I'm gonna light him on fire once you guys loot Wait, him. Wait, no, no. I said once you guys loot him. I can't. Uh, uh. You, gotta go, you gotta go up there. No, I got it. Okay. I'm looting him. I'm going through his pockets through the bars. <laughs> Okay. He had a Krag sniper. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fight. I was waiting for him to peek his head out, and I just heard him die. Yeah. It does a lot of damage dropping from that small height, actually. Yeah. And now we wait for the next 10 minutes for him to burn out. Hunt way down. Yeah, if only that did anything. No. Uh, I, I, think I just think it's good. funny. It's just funny. Like, <laughs> having him. Like he's just spectating us all standing here looking at him. <laughs> he probably I, quit because he died like that, honestly. Well, yeah, you can't spectate either if you're waiting to revive. No, I mean, like he quit. I like and spectated. Oh. oh, yeah. Look at this idiot. You're really funny if he got up and I bomb lance him and then he runs towards us and we all die. I'd be so mad. <laughs> I really don't think that would do enough to kill us. It definitely would. No, you can actually still get stuck by the bomb lance. Yeah, I stuck survive. somebody last time we were playing, I believe. I stuck somebody very recently. I like yeah. shot them across like, oh, the bridge. And then if you have like, what, four, you can even get even more bomb. Mm -hmm. Probably not even thing. Gotta watch well, anyway. We gotta go like way south now. Fun. Yeah. I never seen the dude that ran away though. That's kind of, kind of bothers me. Well, no, that was everybody. There's, There's no, three no, no, dead no, people upstairs, ain't there? I originally had seen guys fighting the team that we had killed, the Lulu and all that, mm. and I'd never seen that guy again. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. So and he didn't die. We, we killed a whole trio and then that solo. Whoa. Oh, there's a Romero right here. Look how I'm the only one sitting here waiting to watch this. Burned out, okay. Yeah. I mean, he's, if he killed just you, then we'll blame you. Rude. Hey, Maelstrom. Ready for all these dogs. How's it going, man? Because there's also people in, um, Moses, but I think that's the Lulu team, so. Uh, Maelstrom, have you been keeping up with the Monster Wilds videos? Where these horses at whenever we need them. No, I know, isn't that something? 
Do you have any dark side left? I have one, one second. second. Mm. Well, someone's alive still. I heard an explosion. Yeah. Yeah. It would fun. Yeah, I saw the hunting horn one earlier. That's the one I was going to ask about. What are your thoughts on the hunting horn one so far? Do you have any? Anything on that? No. The hunting horn at least looks good, but they didn't show the UI, which is kind of making ske uh, Sozu sketched out about it. You know what map this is, Eel, by the way? The sale, you know, of course. <laughs> the one where yeah. we could try, but, you know, not get the achievement. I'm surprised I actually killed as many people as I did with these guns. Because normally these are awful guns. People tend to like the Skyfield, though, so it's funny. But I think it's only the Spitfire, usually. Yeah. This guy's it's just got the fastest reload. Looking forward to seeing more of it myself. Uh, preview was a bit too lacking. Uh, in it for any actual info. Uh, I actually had an idea. Considering all the weapons they've shown so far, than like the original two, it seems like they're showing like less used weapons at the moment. So I'm wondering if they're gonna show the longsword last because it's the most popular weapon. It's 100% where these people came from, too, so it's funny. Interesting to see what they'll do with the sword and shield. Oils, maybe? I don't think they're going to bring oils back. It'd be cool if they did, because added a bit more flavor to the SNS, but I don't think they're going to do it. I think the only way they're bringing those back is if it's, it's attached to skills like the um, wire bugs and shit again, which I would rather not see that kind of thing again. Good thing about the UI, I'm not too concerned. I'm overjoyed the echo spin is removed. Uh, definitely I noticed after showcases so far, oh, that was in reference to the lesser used weapons being shown. One pretty good though. I not kill anybody, but that one's good. Oh jeez. Yeah, I know. It's hard to really say with the hunting horn for me, because I'm not super well versed in it. But I also do agree with Sozu that them not showing the UI. Especially considering they went out of their way to show the Insect Glaives UI for the Kinsect. So it's a bit weird that they didn't show it. I'd want always to add an element. I would be fine with that as long as your uh, sword and shield doesn't already have an element or status. Like if it's just a raw sword and shield and you can have an oil for it. I'd be okay with that. That'd be cool. That was successful. That was successful. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. What do you mean that wasn't too bad? It wasn't None too of us bad. died. We got the bounty, banished, killed everyone. Yeah, it was all right. My yeah, dog is same. even disagreeing with you. Yeah, well, your <laughs> dog is wrong. What did you say? What did you say? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, see? Okay, that's enough. Yeah, I honestly would have been nice if they did show the UI for all of them. Yeah. <laughs> or at least the ones where the UI is important. You know, yeah, there were some four stars in some hunting hard. game. So oh, that must have been this single solo right here that died, maybe? The other two are duos, so that's kind of weird. I mean, I'd say the UI is probably most important for Hunting Horn and Insect Glaive. And they showed it for one, but not the other, so it's a bit weird. Oh no, he's back to three star. <laughs> I switched my Lavelle for the person's Lavelle to get the ammo. So that was funny. Siren Song. Just convert cool. X Raw into an element type. Yeah, maybe like. Like Did maybe you just got convert ten percent of your raw into an element. That'd be cool. I no, I need five more yeah. damage. 
Oh my god. Wow. That's so unfortunate. Right? I'll just take the same load out. And I still need 156 okay. damage for the Lamat Mark II. Yeah, we're not doing that. I still need 156 more. Well, like, unless we get, like, a shotgun kill off of it, I feel like we're not doing that. Yeah. Yeah, shotgun slugs would work. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have that unlocked. I did not have that unlocked. I have star shell. There that is go. it. Easy. Pretty much the same thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know, Freya. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Yep. We're going to get there. We're going to feed you. I want some steel ball ammo. We have bullets. Yeah, and I want some ball bearings that are shot out of a can. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. All right, I'm going to feed my dogs. All right. He readied up, though, so. Yeah, I see that. Just, just so you know. Uh-huh. Is that a problem? No, like, so, so it lets him ready up, too. Well, maybe now that you're pressuring me, I don't want to level up, huh? Oh, my goodness. How about that? Can I get an answer? Back up. Oh yeah, a squirrel. Do you have lots of squirrels? Yes. But you know they haven't been showing them with it being more cinematic showcasing, but still, I assume squirrel. we'd be about the same as Worlds. They've said it's gonna be like very similar to the Worlds and not Rises because everybody hated Rises. Of course, song playing is important, but if they're saying it works like World did, and hopefully, uh, no cause for concern. I do not trust Capcom enough to not fuck you over. So you I will reserve. Anyone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? No, who you <laughs> really? Just gonna put me on the spot like that right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if there's a company that you would trust to do right by the. Oh, uh, a company? No, right? never mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You see, no. you're making it seem like you're asking if I trusted like anybody. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. And then you're like company. It's like, oh no, no, never mind. Well, I mean, specifically talking about video games. So, yeah, I know. As far as companies go, fuck them. Don't give them an inch. Uh, they will take several dozen kilometers instead. Don't give them an inch. It's over. What about the United States government? Do you trust them? No. Nobody should ever really trust your government. Like, regardless of where you are, your government isn't there for your best interest. No. I don't know. Well, why we pay him so much money then? Uh, because yeah. they have a lot of guns, and if you don't, you go to jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're just gonna show up with their guns. It's like, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Tank in your front yard, you're just like, eh. I'm kidding. Yeah, blast <laughs> me okay. away. I <laughs> might pay my taxes now. <laughs> you're, you're not getting the thousand dollars in taxes. Kill me. <laughs> like, but only if you brought the form. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, you, then you get like all governmental about it. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> you know, I'm actually somewhat of a patriot myself, you know. <laughs> Where are we? Heritage Port. Sure, I'm we expecting Longsword to have a focused move to People parry. Like Girl Plantation. To be honest, given like how it. insanely popular that playstyle is in Rise. We'll see how this clue moves, and they might end up coming over here. I don't, I don't know. As much as I like the longsword, and I've been playing it the entire time I've been playing Monster Hunter, it feels a bit like it's gotten way overtuned at this point. With all of its, if you time this perfectly, or just have like sheathing, like you just get free damage constantly, and you can't be punished really. 
Okay, it feels like it's getting a bit overtuned. Going on over there. No, then just bomb lands and blueprint, be dead. Blueprint, 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 blueprint. We head drop nothing, of course. Um. Oh, so we're gonna meet at Ash Creek with them people. Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> Unless they cross over randomly, but. Well, no, 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 they did pass us. God damn, barbed wire armor. Are all med so kits just open now? Like, what's up with this? Every med kit I've seen in the game has been open now. They're all oh, open. And then you close it. Okay, and then you use it and it closes some. Okay. Yeah. Could have swore it was the other way around. I guess not. What do you see with your elf eyes? Nothing. If I hear dogs. But I don't know if that's the ambience. So I heard him howling. My dogs are barking, but... Star shells break from putting dead hunters and armors on fire. Yeah, I've never used them. But yeah, I feel like I would just use fire ammo at that point. Like dragon fire. Yeah, yeah now the dragon breath like, lights people on fire. Or like, dead bodies are kind of like... <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, there's... Wait. Right here. They're leaving. They're leaving. Do you want to punch this? I'm out of stamina. They're of behind that train. They're it. leaving. They're leaving. Oh. I just heard someone over there. Somebody just sound like they took damage. Yeah. Oh, right Remed. there. Right there. Oh, yeah. I see him. Just two of them. Get them in the water. Oh, yeah, well. F that guy. <laughs> Right here. Tagged him. He's like, what happened to my teammate? Yeah, he just got gang banged so hard. There he goes. Yeah. Ah, damn. That was unfortunate. Right here. Bullet hit like. It Did blew I shoot up in the air. Post? Yeah. Oh, it's close. Oh, I think, I, just, bow. I think we just got shot at from that other team that was leaving. Yeah, we were. Amazing. There he is. He's right in front of him. I know, I'm reloading. That was unfortunate. You just... Oh, I'm getting shot from that team. We Get to into the compound. People. Someone just died. Yep. A female died. Oh, yeah, it's the guy over here. Like, he just died to a zombie. Guy behind him. Oh, I got him. I got him. Is he dead? Right here. Yeah, that must have been the teammate. He had a bomb lands. Are you sure? Yeah, what was he wearing? wearing. He was yeah, a just, white shirt dude with a hat. Describe right his undergarments. So there was two he, he of them a, that were animal, like that like an over shirt. So there's two of them like that. Yeah, there's two dead over there in the water. Okay. Like, right there. And then the phantom's dead in the water. And then the chick is dead over here somewhere. By the way, but, I'd like to validate the opinion you had. Which opinion? Because I've had a lot of them. Well, we were getting shot from the, the, the government one, obviously. <laughs> we were getting yeah, shot that from one in south, particular. Though. Yeah, they yeah. didn't register right there, by the way. So the people from the south are still there, right? Yeah. As far as I know, yes. They, in fact, would be. I'm just gonna burn this dude. Because I don't know if this I don't know if this is the third of that team or if he just was a random solo It should be the third of the team, but you never know. Yeah, I think it was all three of them I was looking for the classic emote on his discord oh, server. Oh, yeah, I don't know well, I'll have to read that in a moment. I think over that way Yeah, I think this, I think so too. It was silenced silence for probably right, there's there's somebody someone above us. in the building above us. Oh What? So yeah, they, one of the they, came, we... they came in from the west side. The people from the south came back and just went in the building from the west end. Crazy. Did you just get shot at? What was that? Oh no, that's them shooting. Can you kill that? Where is it? I couldn't see. It was so dark. 
Yeah, this map is very dark. Well, it's only dark because of the stupid, um... The effect, yeah. yeah. Condition. Okay, I got bees and dynamite. I have bees also. It's I just... have two different types of fire bombs and a Constantina bomb. I want to shoot those dogs. We got me climbing up this and getting shot immediately. Oh, right there, you jump oh, down. There's one. Yep, I saw him. How the frick did he not see us? You guys want to watch that way? I'll watch this way. Like that. It bothers me how much of a bot that guy looked like. It looked like he had controller drift and he just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> just slowly moved away. Well, cause he, he like just didn't even look towards us. Like where'd he go? There's another way underneath the this building. That goes to the other side. I'm still hearing somebody walking around up above. Oh. Another okay. team. Okay, cool. Amazing. Dynamite. The boss isn't even here. Okay, not dynamite. Chaos bomb. Or not. I think this guy's gonna jump down on the side, by the way. So you guys might have to back me up. Okay. There's that silence gun. It's good. Nobody's probably grabbed the clue. So, like, any team on the outside could actually think it's this place. I mean, I grabbed the clue. Well, yeah, other than us. Like other teams. I can't wait for someone know. to try to come in underneath and then just go find a whole another yeah, squad. Yeah, there's three people right here. I can see his gun sticking through the wall. Where? Right on my ping. Okay, watch out. Right there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that dude is pissed. That's so unfortunate. You should watch him in case he gets like necroed. You can just shoot him again. Oh, careful, Zero. <laughs> I that yeah, I like, yeah. walk over. I'm like, where at? Just the whole barrel protruding through the wood. I hear someone to the west. Yeah. Oh. Is that another team? Somebody shot a player. That seems like a poor idea. I'm sure it's probably fine. How many uh, health chunks are you down now? None. That was a hellfire bomb. Yeah. Excellent fire bomb. I didn't lose any fucking health chunks for it. It's good in my book. I had the thing going. I, I'm kind of upset because I would have recorded that because how dumb it was. <laughs> Don't worry. I saw most of it. <laughs> it's technically recorded. <laughs> because it was just so dumb. Oh yeah, we're a turn corner bot. <laughs> Guys, well, I had out long ammo, so I knew I'd kill him if I shot him. Mm -hmm. Keep wanting to shoot through the floor and get this guy, but somebody's running around to the south. I'm so yeah, the, the tempted to open mic. Last. Like, I'm so tempted to open mic right now. Like, how's it going, man? Who's running? Not us. Not any of us. That's somebody, so somebody outside else. and somebody upstairs. So somebody's went into this building with that guy. All right, he's going into that crank door. I still don't know what happened to that guy that jumped down. I think you killed him because he was a white shirt guy. Oh, okay. We should go up there. Well, these guys are teammates, obviously. Plus, they're dancing around each other. They both only have uh, melee weapons that they can't throw. Yeah, they both have katanas just dancing around. We could all go up there. I just, my confidence level. Shoot up! 
frag up there. Where? Like, come out and shoot it into the window. Oh, Wait, somebody jumped down over here. Somebody fell down. So maybe they're not the same team. Amazing. You watch that way, Steel, because I can't watch both. He went up the ladder. He's going up the ladder. Dude, that guy over there is still burning out, so. Like, do they not know that the weather condition makes the dog spark? Going to turn the lamp off. Hey, we can we might be able to get a clean sweep, but it's in the sale, so. Somebody fell down to the west. Somebody fell down to the other way now. Did we actually by. see him? Yes. Another one. Oh. In circle around. Oh, he's still over there. There's a guy in the building now. There, there should be two. <gasps> this guy's gonna. Oh, wow. So it is the two teams? I tagged him. Well, if you're watching him. Nice. Ben, that shotgun shell is pretty strong. There should, there should be one more. On me, red shirt guy. Right here, behind the wagon. I, uh, I flipped him. Wow. I had to heal. He's running. There's, a second There's guy still another one up top building. still. Nice. Okay, somebody's dead. Was that one of you that killed him? Yeah, yeah please. One more. We're gonna do this. That should work. Depending on where he is, I'm gonna go watch this dead body. That's that one right there, the white shirt. Oh, okay, you're already watching him? Yeah. Where'd this red shirt guy go? What do you mean, where'd he go? I'm actually gonna okay. put some traps on top of these I let two. Him I let the traps there. there. Whoa! What the fuck? I just got shot at with an arrow. Oh, watch out. Oh, that fucking still hit me. Okay. Oh, it's a big dynamite bundle. That's why. Somehow I dropped my guns. Oh, nice. Not what I want. You killed the retro guy again. <laughs> There's the bear so, guy. Yeah, There's the bear guy peeking out over there morning. There's still a guy there. Got him. Okay. I'm so kind of upset by that. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll like, be fine. I'll just round the corner. I'll be fine. No, big dynamite fucking says no. Okay, that's one of them. Where's my other? So here's the bow guy. I still don't know who Silence Dude is, though. Uh, he was this guy over here. All right, has everybody, you know. No, I'm trying well, to find guys, my other guns. <laughs> them guys are all burnt out, so. Get clipped out of bounds, you're fucked. I think they did, I think they're in this barrel. What gun was it? It was my dual uh, Scott Fields with fire. Oh. He randomly hit, oh wait, no, 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 I found him. I recall Lamette pistol shotgun can one shot out to 10 meters, not long, or so not long, but very effective okay. in short range. That's, I mean, yeah, I'd say that's pretty effective. They had a nerf in it at some point, I remember. So now that the whole lobby is dead. Yeah, now that everybody has died here in this one area. I'm pretty sure that's the whole lobby. Was that you? Okay. I'm ready to tell we go. Oh, you wanna go to Checking uh, around inside. I'm curious where the where other people are. Oh, oh they're out the here. Way. They're out here. Like, one's dead by me, another one's dead over here. Oh. I'm gonna Hoover and these people, though. Like, I'm not really sure who burned them people. Okay, now that we're not ratting it up in a corner. 
Uh, I can read stuff. <laughs> I was looking for the classic emote on that server. I saw Muser recently, and I stumbled across your uh, part of your conversation with him. And I agree, it wasn't a quote-unquote challenge run. It was a playstyle. You definitely didn't deserve that weak ban. No, no, you see, what really got me that weak ban was me saying that, uh, because he said that he's been a veteran of the series and has been playing it for 15 years. My reply to that was, yeah, and 15 years ago, you were fine with admitting that you were shit at the game. <laughs> and then I got the time out. <laughs> just straight out insult. <laughs> you're just like, yeah, you're shit. <laughs> I mean... He was the one that started with things like personal attacks no, first. It's just funny. And like you telling, just somebody off, like, yeah, <laughs> telling somebody that they're bad at a video game isn't a personal attack. It's just, yeah, man, you're bad at the game. Like, get over it. So yeah, what? You're just new dog shit, man. <laughs> you're trash! <laughs> like, do like what, some of the viral, like, you suck do? ass memes. Testimonial. It looked like all those people just wanted to fight, honestly. Yeah, I guess. Fine, we're um, pros at this game. So. Yeah, yeah, we won. Everybody has lost to us. We are officially the best in this uh, entire lobby. <laughs> we ran it up really hard. We deserve this one. Uh, I don't think we ran it up, like, because Morning shot that dude right underneath. Like, they should have known where we were. Yeah. I mean, they all should have known where we were the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, we never left that spot, so it's like... We, we had no chance to. Yeah. Like, we literally get... We there were people hit, everywhere, we kind of had to stay there. But it's also like, man, I'd be so upset with those... If I was those guys and they just died to us like that. Uh, completely their fault, you know, fuck them. But still. Oh. Anyway, you get a plus one from me, as we said on my stream. I'm glad he's done with the final boss. Yeah, like... I definitely went for the uh, whole your shit the game kind of things. I knew it would piss him off at that point. Let me know if you see special ammo anywhere, please. Oh, I missed. Oh my god. I hate that you did that because I threw a sticky. <laughs> Watch out! Oh, I don't have all. They're gonna be watching us struggle with this fire and they're gonna be like, man, we lost to these guys. Oh, I know. Jeez. They were doing like no damage to him. Fucking die. Because he's in his aggro state, oh. so he's taking with his damage. Alright, who's gonna go start doing the other one? I have a bomb lance, I'll I guess I'll just go. Well, yeah, you have to go look for it. Don't worry, but if really, I die in the way, I'll let you know. I mean, you oh, shouldn't. Uh, there really, shouldn't, know, too. <laughs> there really shouldn't be anything that kills you. Like, a lesson emulator randomly, I guess. I'll just stick it from a mile away and it'll totally kill it. I really like the, the wax dynamite, like um, bomb lance with choke bolts, because wax dynamite works in choke bolts. Really? Does it really? Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's wax. It's not based on uh, like air fuses. Yeah. Oh hey, um, a blueprint. Really? Oh. Yeah. It's not worth it. Just keep going. No, I'm coming back. God! <laughs> he lied, there's no blue, right? Yeah, no, I'm already here. I'm actually gonna switch Scott Fields for the arrow hatchet. In there. Laser, you can just go. Okay, now I'm going. Old man gonna get grumpy. 
what way? Because <laughs> we're taking too long. <laughs> We haven't had this happen in a long time. Remember, no remember, clue. remember, we were talking about um, getting um, Grand Slams too. Whatever it's called. Running the gauntlet, I think. Oh no. Yeah. no what we're, is running? Running the I gauntlet. Actually, no. Running the gauntlet is uh, banishing and uh, taking them from both. I believe. Is it? Yeah, like banish both bosses, take all the bounties. I believe that's it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna get. Yeah. Plus some random solo, like, is alive. I wouldn't be too surprised. I mean, we had at least seven bodies there and two were outside the compound, so I'm gonna say that was all nine, I'm pretty sure. You haven't got very far. Like, like, <laughs> you, didn't even, to, like, shit, so. you didn't even go to like, you didn't even go like, you could've went any direction and said you went to like, race Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, because I'm heading for the shipyard, so I gotta go south anyways. I, I feel like I should have grabbed some of those other guys' guns, because I can't find any special ammo anywhere. Yeah, you know, I just picked up the Romero. Around. I just picked up the Romero hatchet. Red. So I have a little bell with like five ammo and then a hatchet. Another meathead. Nothing. I was Let's go Pelican then. Yeah. And nothing from that meat yet. <laughs> Wait, you got banned again? Yeah, I got a, uh, a weak ban. Four or five days ago, or some shit. Yeah, so in theory, there actually is one guy that we didn't see. Perfect. We're at a pelican. Uh, there's a fucking water devil here. Good, kill it. I need one more. But don't worry, I think I did. I made it a couple times to get the fuck off of me. Yeah, it says I got two of them, so. Same now. I'm gonna go kill some zombies that are over here. <laughs> Damn, uh, right as he played a different game for once. Yeah, I got banned, I think, like, the day he actually went and played something else, or, like, the day before it. Oh, hey, special ammo. It's not here. It's not here. Oh, sweet. Unfortunate it's not here. Banned for telling the truth, yep. Oh. They hated me because I told the truth. You know, it was one of those moments. They hated me because that was the truth. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. Literally, you couldn't handle the truth. <laughs> Determination trait. That's a good one. I mean, I guess I'll take it, sure. Sure. Why not? It's already there. I may as well take it. Oh no, guys, we only have 20 minutes to... Ah, uh, damn, dude. Ahead. What are we gonna do? I'm surprised we have that much time, honestly. But we spent quite a while in that hole, I'm surprised. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> are you kidding me? It's not here either. Fuck that hive in particular. Stone mill. I gotta get the special ammo with the depot. 
<laughs> Another water devil. Okay, it didn't get me that time. I was following you guys and I checked the map. It's like they're not going the right way. Yeah, I, I said I had to go get to the. Yeah, I knew where you were going. I don't know where the hell Morning was going though. I grabbed the clue. That's why I uh, we know where the boss is. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, it is. Totally what happened, uh huh? Okay. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. Man, oh, God, sure is a waiting. nice blueprint. I'm not kidding. Uh huh. I have to come over there and kill you. So far away. Were, were these guys already leveled up to begin with? Weren't we in the 20s with these people? Um, I think yeah. We won one match with them already. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not gonna get crazy XP from this. We'll still get like really good stuff. Not gonna get the first evac bonus or whatever. I mean, yeah, that's true, but. I hate this as a. I hate both of bosses. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of either of them. Either of them. Well, the assassin isn't too bad, I don't think. I, I'd rather buy the spider. Really? Spider, yeah, because the assassin legitly hurts you. The spider is so fast to you, though. Oops. It's annoying, but... You just have to just tag the assassin, <clears throat> like, as soon as he spawns. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you can actually, like, melee lock assassin, but... I'm not good like that. Oh, so you already have another, like, four of Yeah, he's actually got a melee lock, like, on I was out of stamina. Sure, turn it off, right? How yeah. kind of you. <laughs> Ow. Almost died. Yeah, I can see your health uh, flashing, so. How'd you, you manage that? Here? A water devil and uh, some zombies, you know, yeah. the usual. Okay, so, the, uh, there's a med kit over here, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good. I'm looking at all the... I'm looking at the... Trying to find the blueprint spots. So, now that I've played keyboard and mouse with that set up a bit more, I don't think it's too bad. But because I'm not used to the way I'm sitting, it's putting some strain on my wrist. Which does not feel great. Oh, uh, yeah, I know you're kind of like, I don't know. I think there's one right here somewhere. One what? Uh, the workbench. Oh, well, I can look. I didn't know that's what we were doing. Did you already oh. look in all the outside buildings? 
Yeah. Oh, jeez. No, there's nothing up there. I mean, though, the only reason I'm doing it is because we gotta waste time. Did yeah. I ever actually explain to you guys how my setup like this right now is like? Cardboard box. Uh, yeah, it was a cardboard box. box, but that was like very minute detail. So I've got a large. First off, this box is a story. This is the box that UPS sent back the PC to me in after they took it, it, it and fucked it up a box. second time. So like, Kaneki sent me the PC that she didn't want anymore, you know, and UPS broke it as they were shipping it here. I'm almost 100% sure it was New York State UPS, considering how fucking abysmal they are. They're like, okay, we have to take this from you to do an inspection so that we can clear ourselves of all guilt. I was like, you know what? Fine, fuck it. It's not working anyways. Take it. They take it. They send it back. The PC is now three times more fucked up. But like, they gave me a new box, a bigger box. So this is like... Uh, it's like... It's like two, two and a half by two and a half. Like further dimensions. Like I, got, I got that box sitting here in front of me with my laptop on it and my I mic at the here. moment. I'm gonna take this bounty. Quick spin around. Yeah, there's nobody here, just checking. We're, We're gonna go north. northwest, right? Or northeast, I mean. Yeah, I'm coming through the, the hole on the ground real quick. So, wow, it's I have that box pushed up against the entertainment stand in front of me that has all my game consoles and uh, the TV and stuff like that on it. And I have my futon pulled up almost all the way to the box. There's enough room to put my leg down, and, like squeeze through, like for what I'm trying to get like out of my room. Cut, cut, a, cut a hole in the front of the box. Where you're I'm debating <laughs> cutting a hole in the front of the box. I'm like, oh, but well, what if I fuck up the structural integrity of the box? Like, what do I do then? Because I don't have a box this big to replace it if I fuck up the box. Yeah, that's true. So I have the futon so pulled almost all the way up to the cardboard box. And then I'm sitting on this shitty futon on a... <laughs> on a pillow on a part of the futon that's basically collapsed so like there's no actual cushioning there on its own anymore and then on both sides of me to my right side i have two pillows like wrapped in a small blanket to make it like more solid i have that covered with my 26 ish or something like that year old Yu-Gi-Oh blanket oh my god which is basically just a sheet now, and I'm using that as like the mouse pad for it. So that's what I'm playing with my mouse on, is I have it on those two pillows on top of that blanket <laughs> to my right hand side. And then on my left hand side, I have all of the pillows that I actually sleep with wrapped up in a really heavy duty blanket. So there's like five pillows to my left hand side that I you like put my I put like my keyboard up there, like anything else that I might need to put there, like a Wii controller or like maybe I put my mouse or something over there when I'm not using it. And I'm sitting between those two pillows on the futon. Amazing. It's um extremely <laughs> ghetto setup. And you know I have my keyboard on my left typically, but right now it's on the left hand side pillows. Amazing. Oh, hey, a trait. Resilience. All right. I'm looking to see if there's a gold cash oh, I in here. I already have that one. There's not oh, really I a gold cash register can randomly spawn here, like, really high. Chances. I mean... I thought they changed that. Wait, here specifically? I thought it was, uh... No, it's here. This is where we found it. And it's, like, a known spot. I don't see it, though, so... Yeah, uh, right. Did you check out the courtyard? Well, no, it'd be in the house, I'm pretty sure. 
Because I've seen one other one like watching somebody, and it would happen to be in the same spot too. So it's funny. Uh, use a cardboard. You use a cardboard box for your desk. No, no, no. I see. I have an actual stand, but it's very small and pretty low to the ground. The TV and like my Wii and stuff are on. So that hey, stuff whoa, whoa, whoa. is there. And I have Let's a cardboard. A here, buddy. Hmm? Huh? What? Nothing. Yeah. I didn't even hear what you said, so. I thought you were talking about a little cat. I'm at the evac, guys. Come on. Yeah, we actually should not leave, like, separate. Come on, guys. I'm gonna leave you like you left me, because fuck you guys. <laughs> Just watch them go flying. <laughs> wow. That, <laughs> he didn't even die. I'm using a Romero hand cannon. He like exploded and then just stood back up. Yeah, so I I'm mean, not... if he survived a Romero hand cannon, I would have been shocked. So I'm not using a cardboard box for a desk. I'm using a cardboard box for an extension of a TV Jeez. stand, <laughs> which just happens to be holding my mic and laptop at the moment. And then on my actual lap, I have my keyboard <laughs> that I'm using for the actual computer. <laughs> the hood life sounds wild. Ah, oh, man, you don't even know. It, it's crazy out here on these streets. No wonder you sleep on the floor. One. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, it's, it sounds like it's a oh, pretty good time been... to end. We played for just killed. about four hours. We did pretty well all day. 101 mobs. Oh, it is clean I think, sweep. I think my record is like, uh, like 212 or something. What? Yeah, oh, so we got no. clean sweep got and running the gauntlet. It was all like two and one star people, too. Yeah, so uh, no wonder you sleep <laughs> on the floor, you use your actual bedding as your desk for your gaming stuff. See, that's also not true. I only started using this setup like. Late last now. month, I figured out a setup where I could play console games, particularly like Wiimote stuff, <laughs> like a bit further away from my TV and stuff like that. So the entire time, I have been sleeping on the floor by choice because I would not sleep on this futon in the first place. Wow, rank 45. This futon would probably like kill me if I slept on it. Dude, you should have seen the futon I slept on forever. It was probably really bad. You probably should have just slept on the floor. Probably, yeah. Or a hammock. After yeah. a while, I did. I, I I kept the mattress and threw out the futon and just kept the mattress. Now, allow me to but... clarify one more thing real quick. Even if I had a proper bed, I would not sleep on. I would just sleep on the floor. <laughs> I mean, like a futon mattress is pretty much sleeping on the floor at that point. <laughs> yeah. I literally just like... I have a blanket on the floor and I just sleep on top of that on the floor. <laughs> and I, you know, I had the pillows for my head. I couldn't do that. Um, I don't know. I like have problems I laying on. Like, I have problems laying on things like actual bedding and things like that. It kills my back. Like last yeah, time I like slept on an actual back. Uh, not, not last time I slept on my actual back. Last time I slept on an actual uh, bed, I got up in the morning like, holy shit. Am I paralyzed? What the fuck happened overnight? My back is in so much pain, I like can't move. And like a half hour Actually, later, I was like, okay, I can move. Right I'm not paralyzed. I can, I can get up. And I was like, I am never sleeping on a bed again. It's just you have to get used to it. I mean, even when I was a child, I had a bed and I initially slept on a bed. And then I was like, I don't like sleeping on this. And I just slept on the floor. There was a little, there was a very short time, I think, in uh, middle school where I slept on a bed for, like, maybe one school year. And then I was like, yeah, this sucks. I'm going back to sleeping on the floor. Jeez. So, you know, anytime I had people over, it's like, oh, yeah, man, dude, you could sleep on the bed. I'm like, oh, man, you sure? Like, I mean, it, it is your bed. It's like, don't worry, man. I don't sleep <laughs> on it anyway. <laughs> Hi right, boys, I'm out of here. Yeah, All right, you. goodbye, laser. It was fun.
Might be around um, tomorrow evening? Not sure yet. Yeah, I mean, I work tomorrow, but yeah. What kind so, of Sunday? Same, be, what? Tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, wait. Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. I don't know what's I thought you anymore. had the fishing trip tomorrow. I do have the fishing trip tomorrow. It's past, it's past his bedtime. He's, yeah, we're he's like, starting to hallucinate, It's man. not 8 p.m. Like, yet. It's not past I have to his walk bedtime. And I'm it's 7 not confident in my it's abilities here. Close. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Alright, good night, man. Yeah, good night, man. <laughs> I'm probably gonna cut it too, because I gotta work and I actually tired. Yeah, sounds good to me. And I, I don't really feel like jumping in anything else, most likely. So Yeah, the only thing I'd really be up for playing at the moment would be like I don't know, like Risk of Rain or Stardew or something. Yeah. And I feel like if we did Stardew, we'd I'd be, be like up for a while where, longer, yeah. Like once we started I'd like to actually Do you things, know, yeah. Not, Dip. <laughs> like, where are you? All right, we're gonna play for ten you know? minutes. See ya. I mean, it wouldn't be ten minutes, but you know, what I mean, like, yeah, it'd be like an hour or two, and we'd start getting into it, and it's like, oh, we gotta go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, man. I yesterday, I didn't get the most sleep. I don't think. Yeah, no, yesterday I didn't, cause I, no, I, I didn't get to bed at like twelve, and then woke up. I had a bit of trouble sleeping last night for like no reason. Oh, I have bad insomnia, but I think it has a lot to do with my work schedule. Oh, that'll definitely do it, which is part of the reason why I don't think work schedules like that should be legal. Like, they, they're mean, clearly going to fuck with you. Like, it's not... Yeah, laser is even worse. Oh, I know. Like, mine, mine just goes back and forth from afternoons to days. Mm -hmm. His goes... His goes days, afternoons, midnights, or something stupid like that. Yeah, like, it days, sounds absolutely fucking days, terrible. Days, afternoons, midnights. And then the one he used to do before, he'd work three days, afternoons get two days off, work three days, like, after, it was something stupid, like, yeah, it was, like, horrible. Crow has a really <laughs> fucking weird schedule, too. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, if you work in any, like, any, like, general, like, factory like that, usually. He has, like, I think it's, like, four straight days of work, more or less, where he's there for, like, a shit ton of hours each day, and then it's six days off or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, sometimes it's like that, where you'll work a forty-eight hour week and then you work a thirty-six hour week. Yeah, I know. Like it's that. it's really weird. Mm. All right, man. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Where let you go yeah, before you we later. sit here for an hour talking. Have a good night. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind talking, but yeah, I, I do want to like actually try. Yeah, you should try and get some sleep. I try, and come 10 o'clock, I'll still be awake. That's why I try sleeping now, because then when it comes 10 o'clock, then I'll be sleeping, you know what I mean? <laughs> Instead mm -hmm. of going, because that's how it is. I'll, like, sit in my bed for two hours or something stupid. Yeah. Oh, I picked, like, some ugly green. Was that a color you could pick? Yeah. I'm probably going to adjust it a bit. I want more of, like... I was trying to go for like moss or like grass or something. Or I don't think. Color. Yeah, I don't think it like lands very well though. It's not the best green. I gotta yeah. pick a better I mean, one. I, I think the problem is, it's like I see his green, then I see my purple, and then I see noble cyan, and then they're just like <laughs> yeah. completely clash like all three colors. Oh yeah, there's tons of fucking colors on this server, which I prefer to see like more colors than not. Like, oh, yeah, everybody can have, like, at least someone close to their preferred color. Oh, Mike ended up joining, too. Mm. It's like, I'm gonna set this invite. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see him. Yeah. I was like, where the friend. fuck is he? I'm <laughs> looking for yeah. his name. Because his name is legitimately Mike. That's the only reason I know. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's like Michael spelled differently. But, you know what I mean? Rainbow server? Um, I was aiming to have, like, at least one color-ish for, or try and go for, like, one color-ish for each of the, um, spectrums of light. I got most of them. That was like, I looked the last time, and I feel like there was only, like, six. Yeah, I there, did look at it once. There were only a couple for, um, like, when I initially invited you, I was still working on it. Oh, okay. But, uh, I can show this real quick. Yeah. There's isn't even all of them. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, because I see there's a lot now. Cause I see clown face is like a peach color. Yeah. Some people have their own unique ones at the moment. Like, I made that one for him. Oh, is it unique? Okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> yours, like... like yours is unique purple. 
Yeah. Yeah, you're right, because our, our mine and Solaris are, like, completely different. Yeah, so... Like, like, I like mine. Mine is the color I like, too. Yeah. So, if, like, you looked at this stream right now, you could see all the colors, because I have it up on the um, screen. So, like, I have mine, Zan's, Sozu's, the friendly neighborhood Apsaros. Um, I did want to do custom, like, images for some of the roles. But that's like a tier three or some shit fucking nitro boost. Mm, I got you. Yeah. Which you and him randomly boosted it. Because uh, when you have nitro, you, you get, get two of them or some shit and you weren't yeah. using them anyway, right? Yeah. So if anybody got free ones, they can use them. <laughs> I don't think anybody else in the server even has nitro. Actually, no, right, that, that's not right. That's not right. I know Crow has it. it. It's, just, it's just a matter of like probably already using them yeah like i know crow has it i only know he has it because i'm pretty sure that <laughs> that joke pog emote that i made from noble like pestering me about it which i, I wanted to make that a bit better because <laughs> i was laughing a lot when i was going through the monster hunter character creator thing like doing the faces like oh this would be funny um i do want to adjust that to see if i can make it look like an actual pog emote like yeah. right now with how small it is it's not uh it doesn't translate well yeah, I got you. Oh, right. Nobles is uh, named Rat. <laughs> He's got the rat role. Yeah, no, I think it's funny. I mean... I got Foxy changed his, uh, his thing again now. Yeah. Like, once you told him to change it, he, like, it was, like, newfound, like, info or something. That I think he changed it to that, because it's, like... It's, like, a uh, minotaur, like, with fire or some shit around it. I'm pretty yeah. sure he changed it because um, in here, uh, this is also where we were running the D&D campaigns. Like when I was doing the um, one with you and like everybody else before, this is the same server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was just funny that he happened to like change it again after that. Because like, he went from never changing it to changing it to the Fox and then changing it to the Minotaur now. So I yeah, I feel like a bit ago he actually looked for one that he'd actually like to have. He's also playing so, a Minotaur character in the campaign that I was running. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, which a lot of people have just kind of like fallen out of again. Like, I mean, I didn't ask for a while because I was like, my motivation of not being able to get people together for it like completely killed my will to try and like get people together. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was like, oh, like, you know, I set up the server and I was like looking through all the D&D &D stuff and I talked to Sozo about D&D &D for a bit. I was like, man, I kind of want to play again. Let me see if I can send out a message. And then uh, Fing randomly left the server without replying to it. Like, no, he didn't say anything. He just kind of left. I was like, okay. Um, I reached out to Kaneki about it. Um, he's had, uh, Dude's been having a lot of like stomach problems recently. So he's like, oh, I don't want to like say yeah i'll commit to something that my stomach fucks up and then i can't play it's like okay well that's understandable um solaire is starting college on the 19th or some shit so it's like he's probably not gonna have much of a life after but that's a bit up in the air crow and foxy are the only two that are like yeah i can play and i want to play <laughs> yeah yeah no yeah we get it so i'm probably gonna be looking for people to play again you know man if you wanted to <laughs> Just slide that in real fast if you wanted to play. Just join in one. Yeah, I was gonna. Exactly. I wanted to like finish what they were doing before like most mm. of them like that group fell apart. But hell, <laughs> I'd be held down too if I didn't live on the other side of the planet. I mean, yeah, so does Crow. But he has that like really fucking weird schedule where he's just sometimes has like like six days off or some shit in a row from working like a hell schedule. So he's a bit easier to work with. Um, yeah, at the moment, there's just like Crow and Foxy, more or less, that are on board. Like, I definitely would want to play more. Yeah, I always wanted to, but then it's like one of those things that's just like life and then commitments. It's just like never. Yeah, it's, it's always also one of those things where like. There's always going to be, like, that one person that's going to be like, oh, for this random arbitrary reason, I can't keep playing. Or, um, not, I can't keep playing. But it's like, hey, man, every month for 
one week or one weekend, like one day on the weekend each month, we set aside like one day on the weekend. You know the day on the weekend that we're setting aside like a month in advance. And there's always that one guy that's like, yeah, guys, so, um, you know, I know that we planned this a month ago to get together on this day. It's like coming up in like three days or something. I have actually decided that I'm going to go to a random ass concert instead because fuck you. Which I fucking hate. Because obviously, like, I don't know if you've like DM before, have you? Talking to me? Yeah. You're the only one no. here in this call, so. Well, because you're streaming still, too, so. Yeah, true. Uh, DMing but takes a no, shit ton I wanna of DM. Yeah. I don't have the, like, the time, the, the patience, the mental yeah. capacity. It is a shit ton of extra work. Where for people to just blow it off for like something like extremely minor, it's like that feels really bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also not like the general like outgoing speaker like that, you know? I'm not either. And you, here like, I am sitting like, on like Twitch. You, you are like this, but not, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, like if I'm not on stream or like not talking to somebody, I am dead silent. Yeah. You will almost you will not hear me speak, period. If I'm not talking to somebody or on stream. Yeah, that's why I said because like that's why I like honest or laser. They're good at it because they're like they're much quite, more like um quite social. Yeah, they're very they're like social butterflies. Um, yeah, sort of. I, don't, I don't remember like the actual fucking word for it. Like extrovert, they're extroverted. That's what people yeah, like to call it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew the term to it. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm completely introverted. Mm -hmm. Like even like this, I'm sort of am, you know. Yeah. So D and D is not the most best game for me in general, but I do like it. So. Yeah, it's very fun. Um. So I might like, depending on like what I get going, I might see about getting people in, and I might like. Uh, Deus Ex Machina, Magical MacGuffin, uh, the couple people that left are gone, and for some reason, the new players are like, they also found this place by coincidence. So now a new party formed because shared interest or something. I mean, or like you guys ended up getting, or like, like getting captured or something and then finding it kind of that kind of deal. Yeah. Or it's like, oh, well, they were actually here first, and now like you're catching up with this, like, uh, yeah. the larger group or whatever. Or like, you like them to random left find like me and whoever like trapped somewhere or something. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I did that with Zan in the previous campaign that I tried running with you guys. I mean, yeah, uh, you guys, you guys were in like that fucking fucked up haunted house or whatever, and uh, you yeah, guys found yeah. Zan down in the basement chained up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the uh, one shot or like book right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it was a one shot for starting a different campaign. Mm -hmm. So I played it in a way where you guys are already in the campaign, mm -hmm. and then you would get you would get to the building for the one shot to get a couple levels before moving on to the rest of the actual story. Yeah, like like we didn't have to go in the building, and that building just happened to be like some crazy like thing. <laughs> it's like so um. I'll just say the campaign's name. I think like somebody actually already knew it. It was the um I know I know what it is. It's I the five it it's the five E edition of Castle Ravenloft or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. So that has a companion one shot attached to it. That's like, oh yeah, this is good That's for starting end. characters at level okay. one and getting them to level three. I was like, cool. That sounds like what I would want to like ease people into it. I was like, you know what? I read some of it. I was like, I cannot start them at level one. If I put them in level one in this place, they are going to fucking die. So I let you guys start at level two. I was like, okay, you'll have a bit of extra health. You'll have some like more skills and all that. And you guys still almost fucking died. I had to adjust like several things in there. Yeah. Because, it wasn't like, like a vampire lord was the main thing. Like, yeah. Like the actual campaign. The, act or the actual campaign. It's a uh, vampire lord. <laughs> like more his or less. castle like overlooks the village or like whatever. Yeah. Like, it's up on a cliff overlooking the village, and so you guys already knew about, like, it's, like, not like I'm spoiling it for you guys. You guys already, you guys literally met the vampire when he came out of the building. 
Yeah, and, I think I had, like, starts like that. Or yeah, something. and, like, a bunch of people. Well, I did them on my own. Oh, wow. Okay. Because it wasn't, like, purely just running the campaign from the book. I was, like, doing my own stuff. Mm. Like, yeah, and I had um, a dog, and I remember leaving it with, like, the ghost girl or whatever. The ghost kids, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like, you guys got there. You heard about all the vampire stuff, blah, blah, blah. You went in the building. You come out, meet Big Ben. And I was like, okay, cool. Now we'll totally play again, and then we never played again. Yeah. Yeah, because I think it took us, like, two or three sessions to get out of that building. Yeah, it it's a fucked up dungeon. And, like, I looked up other people talking about it, and a bunch of other people were like, yeah, this one shot is fucked. Yeah, like, it was, like, crazy. I remember, like, us all almost dying to, like, something, too, like, in the attic. Like, there was, like, a something crazy, I remember. Um, Escaping the Shambler... Which you guys fought a fucking shambler down there, as well as some cultists and like some other shit. I think it was like. Oh, it was in the basement. There was yeah, a cult, right? Yeah, okay. in the basement, there was a cult. And like, one of you, I don't remember who it was, decided to fuck around and find out, and you grabbed the fucking globe, or um, like mm -hmm. casting spear thing, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And that summoned a shadow for each of you. And I was like, I could just have it summon on this one guy and have him die immediately but instead i'm gonna break it up so everybody gets one shadow yeah and i um, and they, i think we were trapped in there too right like once we answered the house like the door was locked yeah you couldn't get out yeah and we, we didn't know that until after the fact mm -hmm. Cause you guys never tried to leave yeah um so then after the shadow there was a door just a random door that you could have gone around because there was another hallway to go around it. This is a random door that was a mimic. Oh, yeah. And then that leads to the fucking area with all the cultists. Wait, no, because when you first get into the basement, there's a bunch of zombies. Yeah, I remember being, like, crazy. Like, like the entire bottom half of that building was, like, hyper-fucked. And you deal with all these zombies, you deal with all the shadows, you deal with the cultists, you deal with the shambler. And then when you're leaving, it triggers a shit on a booby trap in the house, so there's guillotines swinging through every fucking doorway, which also almost kills you guys after you almost yeah, died to the shambler. Yeah, because I think one of us failed the, like, the skill check. Yeah. I do um, remember that. I think... I think Axiom I actually failed the skill check. Like, he was trying to go out and he got, like, got clipped for her. I was like... Okay, yeah, let like, me yeah, roll yeah. damage, and the damage was like 3d6 or some shit, slashing damage. Yeah, it was like, holy shit. It was like something crazy, I remember. Yeah, I was like, okay, well, I gotta figure out some kind of way to get my handicap for this. Because I could totally see all of them just dying to these fucking guillotines. Mind you, the building was collapsing, you had to leave. So it's like, okay, okay. His Dan has been here for a while, like, you know, he had a little bit of lore for like, you know, he was like in the cultist for a little bit, like, or whatever he was doing for his own benefit. So he knows the place. Like he knows about the traps. It's like, then, uh, do you know how to navigate these traps? And he's like, uh, like he, like uh, I think he, he thought it was like uh, a trick question. Like you were trying to help. Yeah. I, I, I think he was. I think he thought that I was fucking with him. I was like, all right, man. Like, like you know the you know like, you know this building, right? Like, like you know this building, like inside and out. Like you know how to like, deal with the traps and everything. He's like, uh. I, uh, um, like trying to find like, the <laughs> correct answer because you he 100% thought I was fucking with him. He's like, uh, and I kept pushing him. I was like, do you or do you not know? Tell me, answer me. And he's like, yeah. It's like, okay, guys. Uh, so from now on, Zan can take the helping action to give you advantage on getting through the traps. Yeah, I remember something dumb like that. Sorry. It's like, oh yeah, he's like really familiar with the timing because like he knew his, he knew about them or some shit. Or like trying to escape you before times. And fucking Foxy, because he was playing a frogman. Yeah, he was Slark like, or whatever. Oh, yeah, Slark. With his Slark slime. Mm -hmm. He was like, okay, I'm frogman. I'm going to use my leap skill and rocket past the guillotine, and I'll be so good. I was like, okay, mind you, mm -hmm. that doorway that he's trying to jump out of, led to a hallway, and immediately across from it was another door with a guillotine. <laughs> so he, like, he got a good roll, but I was like, this is a leap skill. It sends him this amount of feet. I was like, I could have him just get clipped by the other guillotine for, like, being dumb. But instead, it's like, okay, you jump, you rocket past the guillotine into the hallway, 
through the other guillotine and smash your skull into the wall on the other side. You've knocked yourself out. So somebody then had to go in there to get him back out. No, I know. I remember I was like, oh, like just dying like multiple horrendously, like, well, not dying, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like getting... I even gave you guys like an extra potion or two to use in it because I was like, okay, well, this is really fucked. They're not doing well and these enemies are super messed up. The treasure chest, I was like, okay, I'll add like another potion or two here and like whatever. Because um, there's also a loot table to roll for that. And I, I rolled it mm -hmm. up beforehand, but I was like, on the fly when you guys are down there, I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to give him an extra potion or two. And then you guys also used all of the potions, which I'm not surprised. And you were in there for like three in-game days, so that's along with like three long rests in the place. Yeah, I remember I was sleeping like a dumb amount of times. But as I said, I remember it being more than one, like it's like two, three like sessions or something stupid. Yeah, it was like three or four or some shit. Not counting the um, initial one in the graveyard. Yeah. It's a freaking mouse. Okay. Okay. I am going to go now, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we get into no topic like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm All right. Good night, man. But I'll talk to you. Yeah. Hit me up tomorrow maybe or like, something. Yeah. Like, if later on, we'll do Hunt, and then maybe later, Shadow uh, or something. Yeah. Foxy has uh, the afternoon off tomorrow and then Sunday, so. Yeah. So we'll be able to do stuff then. All right. Good night, man. Oh, yep. Good night. Talk to you. So, yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, let me catch up a bit on chat. Uh, I just kind of want to keep a somewhat reasonable sleep schedule. I got way too much time in my hands after I pseudo retired last year. Yeah, I've I'm trying pretty hard myself to keep like a human sleep schedule for myself where I live. But you know, it's like. Okay, I'm gonna try to be in bed by like 11 p.m. to like 12, like 1 a.m. at the latest, and then I want to wake up at like 6, 7, 8, maybe 9 at the latest kind of deal. And scheduling is definitely hell for tabletop RPGs. Like, it is so bad trying to schedule shit with people. Uh, if anything, playing D&D can help break the inter introverted habits a bit. It can. Like, I could see that, because if you can, like, really get in the RP aspect, like, you'd be... You might be, like, a bit more motivated to, like, speak up a bunch more, like, during the campaign, or at least, like, with your friends or something. Although I will definitely say, when I was playing in Laserlord's campaign, which I asked him about earlier if he would be, uh, possibly starting up again, because he's been talking about it for a while in his campaign he has a requirement that everybody has to do some kind of voice which i have never done like a voice like that in my life so it took me like an hour to like work through the extreme like i'm gonna throw up feeling trying to do this uh before i was able to like actually play like the entire time i felt like i was gonna like throw up at first like <laughs> Like, I knew that he wanted us to do voices, and, like, I felt sick, like, because I joined the campaign knowing that he wanted that. I felt sick when he said that, but when I was actually sitting in the room with, let's see, Laser, Morning, Honest, Odin, myself, and, um, I can't remember the other guy's name. So there were six of us in the room, five of us were the party, and then Laser Lord is the DM. The moment I was sitting there, like, with everybody in the room, it's like, okay, guys, we're all going to do voice stuff. I was like, I'm going to vomit. I didn't even do, like, much of a voice. I just did, like, like a lower, more, like, gruff voice for my character. I'm currently on a normal sleep schedule, but it changes at random when I work. Yeah, I've noticed that you haven't been, like, like, looking on here. Like, I'll see, like, all my friends and stuff. Oops. I keep doing that, too, where I'll, like, click on the wrong server several times, going back to mine. I'm not used to having my face up here. I'll just go back to this. Um, I've noticed that you haven't been, like, randomly active or, like, working at... 3, 4, 5 a.m. Maelstrom. 
was like, oh, Maelstrom's like also kind of fixed his shit. Uh, it has helped me quite a lot, to be honest. I'm on, um, I'm insanely introverted and got Asperger's, so it's a double whammy of a not getting small talk. Yeah. Damn, just five servers. I think I'm nearing 200. What the fuck? Discord servers for connection stuff. Yeah, mine are all like. I'm in Moral server because. Because I am, more or less. And then I'm in mine, and then I'm in the one that me and my friends used to use. That's mornings for um. We used to all talk in the voice chat in there for a lot of games. But now that I'm doing this with the overlay and everything, um, I've moved quite a bit of stuff over to mine. And then the other one is Ryan <clears throat> is Laser Lord's D and D server for his D and D stuff. And, uh, and then, you know, Peeve server. I'm not really in tons of servers. I have been considering joining the, uh, I've heard about it a few times. It's like Hunterverse or something, which is apparently like a monster hunter community. I've considered several times now joining that. I was like, oh, that could be cool if I want to, like, not be any social and go talk to people. You know, I talk to other people that have like actual interest in Monster Hunter. Unless I end up building my own actual community, which probably never gonna happen. And no. Other random servers like Peeves aren't great for talking about something that's not a Souls game. Which I'm personally not really new anymore, so. <clears throat> Damn, I miss Moral now that you mention it. He's doing well. He pops up in here occasionally. And, you know, I also check in on his server, like, every now and then. I don't really know anybody in it, so typically whenever I'm, like, looking to talk to Moral, I'll just, like, DM him. I'm an extroverted hermit. Fair enough, Maelstrom. I'm, like, an extremely introverted peep a person, but I really like doing things with people. Which is, like, a double whammy of get fucked contradiction I guess like I prefer doing things with like randoms online like random hunts with people in like monster hunter games as well as my own friends like I prefer not playing solo in a lot of that stuff um if a friend is like hey man want to do like literally anything I'm like yes I'm not currently doing anything important I'll just like drop whatever the fuck I was doing and I'll be like yeah man let's go hang out But then I also hate people. I fucking hate people. I hate being around people. I hate talking to people. I hate seeing people. Generally, I'm referring to strangers, but it's like, if I'm outside and somebody is like, hey man, you get like the, what the fuck do you want? Kind of reply from me. Probably doesn't help that I'm in the hood. <laughs> like I'm in a pretty ghetto area. I've talked about it a few times where it's like, I mean, I was like, oh, I'll go to Step 11 real quick because I'm like hungry. I don't have any food in the house. I'll grab a quick pizza. And like, I go in there and this dude comes in and he's being really sketchy and he goes around and he starts stealing shit. And the three Middle Eastern guys come in. Well, they, they run the shop now. And they're like, hey, man, we caught you stealing shit. We saw you putting that stuff in your bag. Empty it now. And he's like, nah, dude. I didn't steal anything. And then the three dudes start beating the uh, the dude with the limp's ass. The guy that was stealing shit had like had a, like a limp and a cane and shit. So they start beating his ass and like they like forcibly take whatever the fuck um he was trying to steal from him. And a couple times now, I've told the story 
And I always bring up the fact that the people are from the Middle East, hoping that somebody's like, well, why do you got to mention they're from the Middle East? Like, it's, it's like, oh man, there's like extra details, but I want to just say it. But I'm just going to say it this time. It's important that I mention that they're from the Middle East because the guy that came in was racist as fuck to them because they were from the Middle East. <laughs> She's like, oh, you people come to my country, blah, blah, blah. You accuse me of stealing in my country and fuck you and blah, blah, blah. Like Middle Eastern assholes, like get the fuck out. Of, like, I, how dare you accuse me of stealing when he was in fact stealing. And he was getting his ass beat and he gets like literally thrown out of the fucking store. He's like, oh, like my dad's a cop or my uncle's a cop or some shit. And like, blah, blah. And you're going to be like arrested and shit. I'm sitting here like, dude, I just want my fucking pizza. Like, could, they, could you not do this? Like, come on, dude. Like, not only are you sitting here, like, and you gotta be, like, racist for no fucking reason because you got caught stealing. Like, you're making it so that I can't check out so I can just get my fucking food and leave. Another thing is I literally couldn't just leave the store because one of the dudes locked the fucking door so the guy couldn't try to run out with, like, shit that he's just trying to steal and was standing in front of the lock. So I couldn't be like, oh, well, I'll just unlock the fucking door and leave. The dude was just sitting there. I'm like... Oh, here we go. Yeah, so that was an annoying night. And then, like, another night, I, like, went for, like, the same thing, like, a month later or some shit. Like, it's, like, 1 a.m. or, like, 2 a.m. or some shit again. And I'm coming out of the store, and some, like, dude hopped up on some kind of drug across the fucking street, and I'm leaving the store, is, like, yelling at me, and, like, I'm, like, I'm just gonna ignore him. He's trying to get my attention for something. Probably asking for drugs or like money or like try to sell me drugs or some shit. I'm like, okay, I'll just ignore him. I'm going the opposite direction because I live in the opposite direction from him. And like, I hear him start like trying to like jog across the fucking um the street like to try to catch up with me. So I, you know, I pick up my pace a little bit. I'm like, all right, man. Really hope it doesn't have to fucking come to this. So I put my hand in my hoodie and grab my fucking knife just in case. And I just keep going, like, okay, I'm just going to keep going with my pace. I'm listening for him to see if he's going to, like, actually try to run up on me for any reason. Because I will immediately stab somebody in this fucking hood at, like, 3 a.m. Like, do not test me. I'm not about to trust some stranger at 3 a.m. trying to run me down. I will just stab you and be like, it's over. Um, luckily, like, by the time I got, like, away from the parking lot, I'm, like, a little bit, like, down. He was, like, he gave up. I was like, okay. And I, I took my hand off my nose. I was like, okay, I can just walk to my house, have my fucking pizza, do whatever the hell I was going to do for the night. So, yeah, um, being in a not great neighborhood might have something to do with me hating people, but well as, like, other, like, stuff from childhood. You know, you never know. But I love doing things with people. I hate seeing people. Unless I know them. That's kind of common, actually. I'm the same. I love doing shit with randoms, like trios and hunts with uh, random Sunbro and Souls games. Uh, that kind of shit. It's got to be on my terms. I'm glad I live in a rural area. <laughs> I would never plot to live in a city. It's not that bad like i talk about like a lot of like bad stuff because it's like obviously i've lived here my entire life i know plenty of stuff like the old man when this area was actually kind of nice an old man got jumped by a bunch of teenagers down at the park for his sub and he ended up dying from it like because there was a pizza place by that has been shut down for a long time and this old dude got a sub and he's like just trying to go home with a sub and these teenagers run up and start beating the shit out of him to mug him for the sub and they killed him that was a long, long time ago. I think that was when the area was starting to get bad. But for the most part, regardless of, like, the gang activities, like, I know, like, some gangs, like, kind of moved out, and then, like, I think I heard that, like, some Asian gangs moved in, and then I think some uh, Hispanic ones also moved into the area, along with, like, the other gangs that were already there, like, all that stuff. But, like, if you're not, like, associated with, like, the gang stuff in any way, you're typically, like, fine. Like, they, like, people who associate with the gang stuff almost only ever target people also associated with gang stuff. So it's like, I'm not in a gang, my family's not in gangs. 
some of my family used to be associated with like Hell's Angels or some shit. Like apparently there's still some connections there, but that's different. Um, like it's typically fine, but there's always like those like whenever there's something is bad, it's like very standout. Yeah, that's not exactly great. It's not that bad, just three stabbings yesterday along the street. No, it wasn't three stabbings. It was towards the end of the school year and a bunch of middle schoolers stabbed each other in the 7-Eleven parking lot. Different. It was like one stab, like one other one. And like as the entire like swarm of like 50 children were leaving, a couple of them were like, oh man, I should have stuck that N word like a bit more, like blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm sitting outside like, you guys couldn't go down to the abandoned factories to sell, sell this shit. Why do you gotta come over here? But there's abandoned factories down that way, about the same distance from your school. You could have gone there and like killed each other and nobody would have cared. Like if you're gonna do this shit, don't make it like other people's problems. Go to the fucking factories, stab each other, have your fights, do whatever the fuck you want, like where no normal person is gonna be. Uh, I moved to the middle of fuck all, then my government decided to mass accept immigrants in the millions, and a ton of them got funneled here, but not given anything to do. Now it's an awful area with shit tons of crime despite being an absolutely bumfuck nowhere. That sucks. You're not making this any better. Uh... It's not just crime. I like the space and nature out here. I like being able to scream without any neighbors uh, close enough to hear me. That's for Maelstrom. That tends to be the unwritten rule. Don't fuck with blanks uh, or whatever the English word is for it. Uh, random nobodies. Yeah, it's typically like don't fuck with like unaffiliated or like civilians or whatever. It is typically how it's operated because it's like, yeah, the moment you do something to completely uninvolved like normal people then the cops are probably gonna maybe care i say as the other day a guy on a bike got t-boned by a taxi a guy on a bicycle got t-boned by a taxi as the cop car was driving by and the cop car like didn't do anything they didn't stop or anything they just kept going um our cops here aren't exactly great either so so you know whatever Please kill yourself in an area in which I don't have to see it. Thank you. Exactly. Like, if you're gonna do, like, your little, like, wannabe gang shit in fucking middle school, like, stabbing people and all this shit and blah, 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 you're gonna move as, like, a herd of, like, 50, 60, 70 kids to go, like, cause trouble with each other, go do it somewhere where other people don't have to deal with it. Don't make it other people's problems. Like, I'm not gonna tell you not to. Because obviously you're going to do this shit. But don't make it my problem. Don't make it other people's problems. And they were doing this by like an elementary school. So it's like, you got like these old people trying to pick up their kids and like all this shit. And they're like, they're coming from middle school, like way down the way to a parking lot away from their school. And it's not even a big parking lot. It's a small 7-Eleven. Like a by like relatively close like close enough where like a bunch of people like walking their kids out of school will be like trying to go past them and like now you guys should have like old people scared to like be out and around there because of this they don't want their kids by it or their grandkids or whatever by it and like you're stabbing each other in front of kids and shit it's like dude go somewhere else again i'm not gonna tell you not to stab each other ideally you would just like not of course, but like if you're going to do it anyways, don't make it other people's problems. Like I don't like I've said it before, I don't think I'm a good person. I don't give a shit if a couple guys like are, have problems. And they want to go kill each other in like a factory or something. That's on them. I don't care. It has nothing to do with me. I'm not involved. Nobody I know is involved. I don't give a shit. The issue is when you're doing it like walking by my house doing it like making trouble for the entire community doing it, and all this shit. It's like, go do something else or just anywhere else. You could just 
not. And it would be so much better for everybody. And the only reason I know for a fact that somebody got stabbed that day is because my mother with, was with my nephew who had just gotten him out of school and they were at the 7-Eleven when a middle schooler ran in there asking for a bunch of paper towels because somebody was bleeding. And yes, the cops were called, and they arrived an hour and a half later. Uh, people fight and shit where I can see them all the time. Used to have the cops come by a few times a week for several months uh, when it all started, but they gave up after they realized that I just won't spill shit. If I, uh, even if I see it, I ain't seen shit. Don't want an axe in my door. Some twat did steal my car, though, and drove it into a light pole at 140 kilometers per hour. Nice. Uh, kind of on, like, the same subject, but, like, if I saw someone with, like, actual gangs, I'd be like, yeah, man, carry on whatever the fuck you're doing. I ain't see shit. Cops ask me, I ain't see shit. Some random guy asks me, I ain't seen shit. Like, I don't care what the fuck you do as long as you keep it to yourselves. Now, a swarm of like 50, 60, 70 children stabbing each other in a parking lot where everybody can see it in broad daylight. I at least want the cops to come and like get them to go the fuck away. And, like, they're fucking middle schoolers. The cops wouldn't do shit even if somebody, like, actually died over there. Like, they'd be like, oh, man, damn. A minor killed somebody. Better, I don't know, put him in, like, juvie or something for a month. Maybe. Please get them to quiet down. I'm trying to sleep. More or less. And then every day after that for about a month, I think, there was a shit ton of cop cars out there every day watching them all. And then school ended and, you know, summer vacation, didn't need the cops sitting there anymore. Yeah, moral of the story is, it's not that bad. Like, it's bad, but it's not that bad here. And that's also why I don't like people. <laughs> but I love doing things with people. I was just about to say that. It's bad, just not that bad. Yeah, it, it could be worse. Like, this could be, like, Chicago or Detroit or, uh... Where the fuck else is really bad? Like, I'm pretty sure there's somewhere in LA that's also really bad. It could be like, um, like the 80s down in New York City or something. Like, there's a lot of places that are worse. It could be much, much worse. Like, I've seen videos of like other cities where people are stopped in their car at a red light and somebody in the car behind them will get out, like four people will get out of this car, run up to the car, stop at the red light, smash their windows and shit in, steal a bunch of shit out of their car, get back in their car and like drive away. It's like, yeah, you know, at least my city's not like that. Like I could be living in that city and that would be bad. I have bunnies in my yard and they run away from me. That's the worst it gets around here. Ah. Um. Yeah, it's just, yeah. You know, like, some people have bunnies in the yard. Some people have kids stabbing each other at the parking lot a bit down the road. 
No, really, pick your poison. Which one would you prefer to have? It's all about knowing uh, what to do around it all. As long as you don't do or go or uh, slash do the wrong shit, you're usually fine. Yeah, like, again, as long as you're, like, not affiliated with any of this shit, like, you're almost just always fine. There's the very rare chance that you're not fine. That would be because of probably some random, like, fentanyl addict or some shit, and not because of the gang stuff. Speaking of, Clownface actually sent me a picture from his, uh, from his apartment window. His apartment up off the, uh, like, off the first floor, like, it goes up to, like, the second floor. He messaged me, like, there's a person outside like collapsed on the ground in a puddle i'm not sure if they're alive or not and he sent me a picture <laughs> of the person just out cold like laying in a fucking puddle in the rain he's like yeah like i think i'm gonna call the cops and i was like yeah yeah like maybe call the cops and like you know have somebody do something in case the person's like actually overdosed or some shit uh the person wasn't dead turns out yeah, it was just like a random fentanyl addict like passed out in the fucking cement or like it was a low spot in the cement sidewalk so there was a puddle gathered there and they were just passed out in the puddle in the rain very funny looking picture the context of the person still being alive is what lets it be funny or if you just thought it was somebody passed out in the puddle you could still find it funny. It was the, I don't know if this person's alive or not, that made it a bit sketchy at first. Uh, you got chickens too? Not personally, but plenty of people around here do. I don't live in exactly bumfuck Nord, but there's a major road right near my house. I'd still say don't go near large groups of uh, bangers or dealers at night. Remote areas that can be bad sometimes if they're, um, if they get bored. Depends on the area. Uh, lucky me, quote unquote lucky me, I was cool, like, because my high school had a bunch of people that were like wannabe gangbangers and shit, I th I'm pretty sure some of them actually became such, but they were from like a bunch of like different groups, for, like for like the whole like wannabe thing, and I was cool with like all of them, <laughs> like nobody like really gave a shit, they were like, Hey, you see, old man, they didn't call me that, obviously. They called me something else. The word starts with an N, which I'm not black, so I would always give them the reply of, like, man, don't call me that. I'd roll up my sleeve and be like, if you're going to call me something, call me X, Y, or Z instead. Um, Yeah, so it's like, it's like, ah, oh, man, dude, you crazy. It's like, yeah, man, so what do you want? It's like, ah, we got a math class coming up next, man, and, like, you know, I ain't really getting it. Can you help me out? It's like, yeah, man, obviously, you know, I'm not going to give you the answers, but I can help you. I can, like, teach you, like, what you got to do, because I know the teacher doesn't do a very good job of it. <laughs> meth class? Yeah, we got meth class coming up. Yeah, so, uh, luckily, I'm decently well known around the area. So even if some like one or like some actual gangbangers are around, they'd be it'd probably like be like, oh hey man, you this guy's like yeah man, they'd be like oh, all right man, you're hanging around with these people, are you? It's like ah oh, nah man, I haven't seen them since high school. And they'd be like ah oh, okay man, and we just go our separate ways. It's obviously always a better idea to make friends or at least acquaintances instead of enemies. Not friends, not not friends. I never did anything with them outside of school. I just helped them in class. Anyway, that was like an hour of just talking. I can feel my throat starting to not be very happy. So I now am also going to call it for the night. I don't think there's anything else to do. Nope, no streams or anything. So I'm just going to call it. 
I might see about trying to stream so I could not Sonic Adventure 2. I might see about getting myself to forcibly play Sonic and the Secret Rings maybe tomorrow. Depends on if I end up playing Monster with Sozer or not. We'll see. All right. Have a good night. See you guys. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you and uh, or you two, Troll and Mallet, for doing a bit of actual chatting. It's always nice to have somebody in the actual chat to talk to. Have a good night. I closed the Discord call and not OBS. Okay, now have a good night.